Let's watch some of this wick stuff. Wick and Tom pestering. Peeping Tom. Whoops. Wrong one. That one. Peeping Tom. Let's see what's going on. <clears throat> um, I, uh, I've realized in the past few days that no one knows what the fuck they're talking about. So we're going to go through some articles, right? Oh my god, Jesus Christ. I mean, it doesn't like I get to any articles, but Hear my me. god. Am I audible? Are we working? Is this thing on? Hello, 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 hello? I think we're live on all platforms. We're live on Twitch. We're live on YouTube. We're live on Twitch. Red talks about stuff. Hello, hello, hello. Cernus, make fun of someone who isn't here. Oh, but you're all here in spirit, my friends. My dear, wonderful viewers. Omnipotent Rift, welcome, welcome, welcome. No count mics. Elder, Drowsy, Benefer, is that how you say name? Benefer? Benefer, welcome. Welcome to the stream. We are going to have a little bit of a different setup today. We are doing a solo stream. I don't usually do those. I've got a few, like when we did the Hootie research. Well, he's doing a solo stream. How, how'd that end for you, Wick? It looks like you're not so solo anymore. Oh, he's got big viewership right now, eh? Um, <laughs> I, uh, I've realized in the past few days that no one knows what the fuck they're talking about. The Tom Fuller so sex pest allegations uh, panel. people who do. And we're going to talk about audience capture incentives, and we're also going to be talking about authenticity. And I think it's very important that you don't hear it from me, because none of you, right, like, believe me anymore. That's fine. But we hear it from other sources, and we can go through it. Um, many of you may have seen me on many other streams these past weekends, um, due to the fact that everyone found out what I've been telling you for months, that I work with Progressive Victory. You've, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I do have it in my YouTube description now, so there was no confusion. I have it in the title of my um, Twitch thingy, and I have it in the bio and kick. So if you want any other disclosure, I don't know what to tell you. Is, is that good enough? Are we good? If my sound is low. What do you mean my sound is low? I'm peeking on red on OBS. I like. Are you sure you don't have me turned down? That's the Thank you for the sub. Um, appreciate it. Four months. That's a long time. Damn. Are you sure your whole setup isn't just total dog shit because you refuse to reinvest any money into streaming because you probably can't cover rent each month and you're using whatever money you can scrape together from Progressive Victory and GoFundMe's in order to keep yourself afloat and stream for as much as you do? Are you sure that's not the issue, Wick? Maybe you should just invest in some new equipment. But yes, uh, I think, I think it's important to recognize. Um, the impact certain audiences and certain groups can have on us as creators. Um, I want to be clear. I am not immune to audience capture. Capture. The thing is, no one is immune to audience capture. No one is immune to audience capture. No if shit. You think that you aren't being influenced by your audience. You that's are why it's so retarded to disclose it. Because yes, obviously, like that's why you don't disclose audience capture. That's why you disclose sponsorships. Because everyone knows there's audience capture. It's disclosed by the pure, by purely the virtue of your channel existing, everyone knows there is going to be some level of audience capture. So pointing this out as like, well, everyone's influenced by something is completely missing the fucking point because it's about the disclosure and transparency, you stupid gremlin. Oh man, this guy's so dumb. Just that simple. Now, there are ways to mitigate the effect. There are ways to be aware of it, um, to address it, to uh, inoculate yourself from these kinds of things. Absolutely. We're going to talk about that. Um, we're also going to be talking about what role um, influence plays in uh, just our day-to-day, -day, in our opinions, um, in our attitudes, in how we view things. Um, Bro, this guy's so right? dense. Uh, you remember? I, I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm too old for this, right? But when I was in school, uh, I was drilled into our heads that peer pressure can cause you to do some really dumb shit, okay? Uh, and so I think we need a refresher course on that. Uh, Tom Fuller, guys, thanks for having my back. Tom, I'm not actually sure what you did. I haven't seen it yet. But uh, at least, at least for now, I think that if they're coming at you, they should stop coming at you. But I don't know what you did. So if you've done something terrible, I disavow. But uh, if you've done something... Um, yeah, if it's just random shit, I don't care. But if it's something, like if you killed a man or something, I just about, okay? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Uh, the hoop on, why don't you just explain the tooth money? I have. I've done it several times. I did it on Elder Drowsy's stream last night. I did it on Jay Stickle's stream the other night. I don't know what you want, um, but it is what it is. Why don't you show us you've still got the money, Wick? Uh, the money? Because cool, this is the thing, and I've always said this. I've said this the whole time. I've said this so many times. That it's not about, you know, Wick having an explanation. If he's not gotten the procedure done yet, he needs to show that he's still got the money. That I, the... I was given. When I actually went in to get it done, it was much more. I need more work on my teeth than I initially thought. I refuse to go into debt. I'm currently debt free. So we're saving up until we get enough. I refuse to also open it up and do like a temple saying where I just keep asking for more money, right? Um, the other problem is I do live in a very rural area, so getting appointments is a struggle. Um, so yeah. I don't wait, know so wait. That, okay, so what is the problem? Wait, I don't understand. If you can't afford it, then how is getting appointments a struggle? Why are you making appointments if you can't afford it? What? Either you're getting the procedures done or you're not, right? Either you're making appointments or you're not. It can't be both that you can't afford it and it's difficult to get an appointment because you wouldn't be trying to get an appointment if you can't afford it. Like, it makes no sense. I'll say, say, but yeah. Beck, I spot your mass twitchable sex trafficking ring, Tom. Are you, wait, are you sex trafficking? Is Tom a sex trafficker? Wick, make my message go through. Oh, uh, sorry. Never asked for $5. We captured Wick by forcing him to wear hoodies and whiteboards. 98% uh, of his audience are hoodie and whiteboard fans. You guys like the whiteboard? Like, look, I'm going to promise you I tried writing something on that the other day. Um... There's, there's like a, it doesn't show up real well because of the light or how it is. It, it's very, you can't really read it. So I'm going to have to rethink the whiteboard thing. 
Uh, Tom, go on Jessica's stream and apologize, or at least admit you did wrong. That's all Kelly's asking. What? Okay, can someone tell me what happened? Tom, do you want to come on and tell me what the fuck you did? I don't, I don't even know what you did. Oh, what great. Did, uh, what did Tom do? Jump backstage. I'll pull you on. Tell me what you did, real quick. I'm, so, I, I'm just so curious. Uh, 15 minutes. Okay, we can do that. Uh, so pause the audience capture thing, gang. Um, what, uh, what did he do? Now I'm, now I'm worried. Oh, uh, is that the real tomfoolery? Would it be a uh, fake tomfoolery? Oh, is it Tom, Tom Furley didn't meet him? Oh, anyway, we'll find out. Furley, he peep and Tom Furley. Oh. They gaslit oh. me because I spoke to Kelly's Instagram on stream. Because she found me unattractive, they painted me as creepy. Mm. Oh, we'll see, I guess. Tom had a tumor moment and chat followed. Chaos followed, okay. Well hey, Susan. Oh, hi. Hey, Susan. Hello, human resources. That's how Tom feels right now. <laughs> so while we wait for Tom, we'll give him a few minutes. We'll give him a few minutes. Uh, v. Lamau says, have you been playing any Tekken with? The new one is great. Tekken 8? I've considered getting it. I've considered looking into it, right? Like, I, but, you know, I'm, I'm tight on cash. Even though, and I guess I'll say this, even though it's in my bio, even though it's uh, now in the stream title and Twitch, I, just to be clear, just full disclosure, I'm paid by Progressive Victory. None of the content today you will see is paid by Progressive Victory. None of the guests I will have on will be from Progressive Victory. None of, none of this has anything to do with Progressive Victory, but it's- None of the guests you'll have on will be um, Progressive Victory. Are you sure? Yeah, we'll find out. Is I that, mean, is that I'm going to be heading to the GWS here in a bit to give more money to the Emperor. Game Workshop Store, bro. Uh, what's your army? Huh? What's your army? It's actually true. I think we, he got us there. He got us on that one. Give me money. You got us on that one. You win this one, Goblin. You win this one, Gremlin. So if you're trying to deplatform Kelly Jean, I am standing against you. I am the thin gray line between you and your targets, Tom. You will not, you will not deplatform people. Stardust, welcome, welcome to the show. Ugh. Who is coming over Kelly Jean? I guess it depends on how. Ugh. I don't know. Disgusting. I'm going to let Tom talk about it. Tom will tell me, and I'll hear from the horse's mouth. Um, if, when he comes on, if he does not give me an honest account, chat, I will let you come on next, whoever wants to, and correct the record. Uh, but before I do that, I want to hear from Tom himself. Again, I don't know any about this. I, I heard that people were mad at him. I don't know the details. I don't know what's going on. I don't know anything about it. A lot of people are saying you do nothing wrong. A lot of people are saying you're being mad, Coomer. I don't I don't know. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what you did. Uh, but I will say, as someone who's been in the hot seat for the last couple days, uh, tag, you're it. <laughs> tag, you're it. Good luck. Um, yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see what goes on. Uh, okay. uh, I kind of just want to get into the fucking point here. This kind of sucks. Him coping about the transparency stuff is just gay. I don't. I literally do not care. I've seen him talk about the exact same shit again and again for the last few days. I want the sex pest allegations. That's what I want. Ah, uh, bro. So uh, I guess just tell me what. Why are you in trouble? Why am I talking to you right now? Why are people uh, calling you a sex pest? Because he's a. I, I, hold on, I can't hear you. Right, proper, proper weirdo. He's a oh, freak, okay. a nasty little bastard. One, one, pervy little bastard. Okay, that better. Much, pervy much. little bald bastard. Yeah, so what the what the fuck? Uh, I, I, I didn't want to say real quick. You you DM me um and said jump backstage. That did we did we talk before this or anything? That because I tuned into your show right after you said that to see what was going on. You're like Tom said he was coming. I don't. I, oh, I don't, is that is there? Is, like, the, is the YouTube Tom right now? Not the actual Tom? No, I haven't said anything in your YouTube. Wait, did, oh. no Tom way. Already... There was a fake Tom account in chat, and we just fell for it and then invited them and then. Thought he was coming up, bro. <laughs> what a fucking retard. How stupid is this guy? Bro. <laughs> this is the guy who's too smart to be a successful streamer, remember? Too smart to... <gasps> Dude, I'm fucking losing my mind. This guy's so dumb. Holy fuck. Show gang. Can you, uh... Okay. <laughs> Okay, so okay, I got I got baited. I got debated. Okay, um, this guy said uh he was uh he was he's got your name and your image and all that, and uh, he's going around uh, talking shit. That was fake, Tom. Fair enough. Yeah, it um, happens. Well, do do you mind? Brittany fell for it too. Well, I expect it from women. Uh, so yeah, um, there's a lot of a lot of people are are uh, talking about you today. You're in trouble. I don't know the details though. And before I make any kind of decisions, um, before I uh have any kind of think any kind of way about it, I kind of wanted to hear the story from you first before uh, I started listening to a bunch of rumors. So uh, can you just tell yeah, me sure. what the deal is? Why don't you just watch uh, the fucking clips, yeah, you retard? Uh, there was, uh, a, like, there's a bunch of streams where sometimes I'll pull up somebody's Instagram. I want to get the story from my friend first before I look at the evidence. <laughs> what an idiot. Why do people say shit? Why do people show themselves like this? Talk videos, like, stuff like that. Sometimes they're sexy videos. Sometimes they're sexy Instagrams, like, you know, pictures of them in bikinis or whatever. Like, the, but, um... Fuck off, Jerry. Uh, Kelly Jean was on screen one day. Somebody said, pull up her Instagram. I pulled it up and looked at it for like, uh, I think somebody said it was there for 20 seconds. And then looked at it, said, uh, she, there's pictures of her in like, uh, I don't know if it's like anime costumes or something like that. And so I was like, wow, okay. this is cultural appropriation. Cancel this bitch. And then moved on. And just like, 
just didn't say anything about it. Uh, apparently, the next day, Kelly Jean said that it was weird and creepy on JSTLK's show that I pulled up for Instagram. Um, so uh, I think Mantis started disagreeing with her in chat. So Mantis goes on to talk to them. Mantis is saying this isn't weird. This isn't creepy. They're like arguing with her, trying to say like, why would uh, why would he think it's okay to pull this up? This Wait, is no, what's going on? Okay, I just checked Spicy and I've been tagged. This is not true. This is not true. I have to. This is sleepy trying to wind people up. I have to just. I assume this has got to be about Mantis. This is sleepy trying to cause problems. This is sleepy causing trouble. This is not true. This is retarded. That is not true. That is not true at all. This is messed up that he would pull up her Instagram on stream. Um, oh, is her that... Instagram public or private? Do we know? It's public. It's public yeah. Instagram. I don't, I don't even think I follow her. Yeah. Okay, so public Instagram public. didn't even need to follow. You were able to pull it up. And you say 20 seconds on stream, just looking at it? Yeah, just pull it up. I was doing other things at the same time. This is literally right after you jumped off my show. And I was, oh, like, sorry. going through the, like, I just got banned. And, like, I'm trying to, like, figure out everything that's going on. And so, yeah, it wasn't, like, a... I wasn't even really paying attention to what the fuck I was doing at the time. I was just kind of, like, uh, doing a lot more in the background, trying to deal with uh, and, like, process getting banned in that moment. But Okay, so... Um, there, I wasn't able to read it with Wayne at the moment. So it's sleepy saying that Mantis went on autistic rage because... I saw, I don't know, I saw, I think I was sleepy more or something. I, I don't think that, that's not true. That's not true. They just didn't like each other. Yeah, so yeah. Kelly Jane said that was weird and creepy. She didn't like it. Fair. Um, yeah. So, is that, so Mantis goes what on. Happened? Oh, sorry, go. So, so Mantis goes on and starts like, arguing with her and like a bunch of other people. And she's like, hey, like, um, I don't know why you guys are acting like this is weird. Like the point of the Instagram is for objectification. Like he pulls it up. You're mad that like some of the chat was saying stuff like, um, like tits on screen or I want to put a baby in her or can you make her image bigger or something like that. But you're, that's literally like what the content is for. Like you're in a bunch of very provocative pa clothes. Pause, and, a, pause mm -hmm. a moment though. Um, just so I know the timeline, right? So you pull up the Instagram, your chat makes all these comments. Kelly Jean says she's weirded out by it. Mantis comes on. Chat was making the comments before the Instagram as well. That was it was pulled up because of the comments. Send you right. Um, yeah, this is on JCLK yeah, stream the yeah. next day. Uh, yeah. And and just to be clear, these comments. Um, what what were some of them? Do you remember? That was it. Those were the those were the ones that they were upset about. Like one person said tits on, tits on screen. One person said I'd like to put a baby in her, and that was it. You, well, I can understand how they'd make her uncomfortable, right? Like if you got a bunch yeah, of sure. people just you know talking smack and, and and sexualizing you, right? I can understand how they make you uncomfortable. Yeah, so, sure. Okay, I, so I, we got this. Why are you in trouble, though? Is that it? Yeah, so, well, I mean, so Mantis went on and starts arguing with them over, like, whether or not it's wrong for me to pull it up in the first place, and they're arguing with her. They're saying, no, like, this is weird to pull uh, up. I don't like, know if the argument was, was even if it was wrong. It was about it being creepy, wasn't it? Pull that up on his stream. <clears throat> and so then I went on to be like, wait, no, this isn't weird. Like, this is, if you don't like people pulling this sort of stuff up, it shouldn't be public. And they, like, they were, there were a couple <laughs> of people on there. They were kind of like, I never want to hear these freaks cry about what I do ever again. I never want to hear anyone cry about the digging, the noticing. The collecting of information, the archiving. I never want to hear complaints about it ever again. If it's public, I can do what I want with it. Fuck you. Okay, cool. We're settled. All right, sweet. I'm okay with that standard. Fuck it. I will be reviewing women's only fans on stream. I never want to hear anyone call me weird or creepy for it. Okay, I will be making horrific, sexually denigrating comments about women while reviewing their only fans on stream. To every woman that I come across that has an OnlyFans, actually, I will just start doing it. Completely inappropriate contexts. They'll be giving their opinion on politics. They'll be talking about Biden. And I'm going, oh, this horse has got an OnlyFans? And I'm going to start pulling it up on my monitor off stream. And I'm going to just be going like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just like making fucking like grunting noises. I'll be doing that. That would be that's my new bit on stream. Mm, coom time. It's all public. It's all public. So we can do what we want and nothing's ever creepy. It can never be creepy because it's all public. Like being a little bad faith in the way that they were arguing with me, I get heated, I start yelling at them. People turn this into like I'm yelling at her for being creeped out by me or like for okay, keep but curious destiny and forever is cute. That would go so insanely hard. <laughs> for for saying that i'm being creepy which isn't really what, what's happening i'm yelling at her for kind of just being bad faith and like pivoting over and over um i wasn't like mad at her for being creeped out it's when she can feel however she wants but yeah i was there to talk about whether or not i did something wrong by pulling it up right. and afterwards it was phrased as i'm mad at her for having feelings um, which just isn't the case fair enough i understand uh so someone sent me some chat messages that they say you sent um and i'm gonna yeah. read them and you can tell me if you sent them or if it's just a fake i don't know right these are just screenshots so it is yeah, what it is. 
Uh, Kelly is begging for my dick all the get time. Get on there, Tom. Get on there, Tom. Yes. On in, in was this in your stream in JSTLK stream? Or... This is in JSTLK stream. Yeah. So while while she's saying that she's uncomfortable with this, this is what you're saying. Yes, while while she's saying like I'm creepy, I'm weird, like this is this is messed up, like and she's talking about this for a while, like, like they've been. And you're uh, saying like, Kelly's begging for my dick. During yes. This. Okay. Um, and you're saying uh, you also say it's not sexual harassment; it's public content. I think that's fair. I don't think that's a bad comment. I think that that's just your argument, right? That's fine. Mm -hmm. Um, that's the first one though, bro. The first one though, bro. I don't know about that one. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, Tom Fuller says, "Defend myself against what? She's a public ethos. She exists for objectification." Dude, look, Wick, Wick should be here. Wick should kind of be bending over for Tom, right? Because Tom's just let him get out. Tom just helped him sweep on the PV stuff. So you should be returning the favor, really, Wick. Isn't this how your little little circle works usually? Isn't this how Twitch poll usually works? Should be returning a favor right now, but oh, this is not looking good. See, the thing is that there's it, here's the the social analysis. Okay, guys, right? This is the male social analysis. Okay, we're gonna crack the code. We're seeing through the matrix here right now. Okay, here's the thing. This is a dangerous situation, all right? Very dangerous. Because what we've got here is there are two sex pests on a call with each other discussing whether one of them is a sex pest. The problem this creates, guys, the problem this creates is that in the mind of the male sex pest, every social interaction, because they're so desperate, desperate for female attention, right? Every social interaction becomes... A competition for pussy. Anytime you're around another male, you are competing for pussy, and it is always at the forefront of their mind. That that is every interaction, and you see it. You see it with Wick very often. Thank you, Doobie. Thank you for the donation. Wick wastes money on coke. I hope Wick gets 50. diabetes. If he <laughs> already has it, the diabetes should get there. Exist freaks that will donate fifty dollars for shirtless review techasa. Who every would even pay one cent Sorry. to see Wick shirtless? <laughs> What a repulsive imp. Jesus Christ. Okay, so every social interaction becomes a competition for pussy. It's like literally every single social. You see this on Wick's panels very often. There was one time where Wick had a panel of all... It was him, some like old-ass bald dude, and a bunch of women. Like Sad Kit Kat was on there, okay? And obviously, you know, that's a high-value woman. Now, really... Really, R Relevant wants to join the panel. Now, obviously, R Relevant is a much higher on the male social hierarchy than Wick. The old bald dude, Wick probably feels a bit more safe around. Also, I think he might have been gay. But Re Relly is a serious threat to Wick. If, if Relly and Wick are both around women at the same time, it's it's over for Wick, right? He's fucked. He realizes that. The competition's over the moment Relly's in there. So what Wick does is when Relly asks to get on this panel, he goes, Oh, guys, Relly wants to get on. Oh, I'm just not sure. Oh, it's really crowded already. Oh, there's a lot of people here. I'm really old. Do you guys want Relly on? It was like, yeah, we want Relly on. We want Relly on. Oh, guys, are you sure you want Relly on? Yeah, yeah, bring Relly on. Bring Re Oh, guys, are you sure you want Relly on? You oh, guys, is everyone okay with that? Can we go around the room? Can each person individually? Do you, are, you, are you okay with Relly coming on? 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 Just trying everything he can to try and avoid the fact that, that this guy wants to get on there. And it's so obvious. Listen, obviously you, could, you can't read minds. I, I'm not a mind reader. I can't see into Wick's head. I can't see what's going on in his head. I just know, as someone who has existed in the world for enough time to recognize his basic social dynamics, I just know, I know, I can see into his mind. I can mind read. I can mind read. I see, I see through the gap in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> so I see into his head. I can mind read. And I know, I know that the reason Wick didn't want to let Relly in is because he feels threatened. And he sees streaming for him, ultimately streaming for him, streaming for Tom. Streaming for sick when he streamed has always, and this is an archetype of male streamer, has always been about maximizing the amount of time you spend interacting with women. It has always been about that. 
they have like all, they'll have like a bunch of female mods they have a bunch of women around them all the time they'll be always just talking to women talking about how much they want to have women on always bringing you know disproportionate amount of women on talking about you know sex and stuff all the time they, they want to introduce sex into every single conversation it is so clear there's a whole archetype of small male streamer who that is their entire thing it's okay listen Everyone is motivated by wanting to get laid. This is this is a fact. Fact of life. Okay. What's the quote again? What's the quote? I've heard this from Destiny a few times. What is it? Everything's about sex, except sex. Sex is about power. Isn't that isn't that the quote? That's kind of true. Most people are mo motivated by that, <laughs> ultimately, on some level. But it's when you literally cannot. You're not interested in in building a business or building your stream in any way. For, for any goal other than that because you, you ultimately you want to run it efficiently and run it well and you know we're doing a good job of it and then hope that other stuff comes with it that's how normal people function but but wick and tom are literally their whole thing is like that it, it's all about women it's all about women that's the whole thing that is the the point of being online is women it's insane okay guys Okay, <laughs> we need to address mod team harms. We do, we do. Mod team harms are a big issue, big, big issue. It's it's uh, Xanderhal got away with this actually. They they say, well, it's not quite a sex cult, is it? Well, it's not a sex cult. I don't really have a sex cult. No, you just have a highly groomed inner circle that's a that, that look up to you as a strong leadership personality uh, that you've isolated into a small group and a small chat where only you know you guys communicate where where there's tr only trust between you guys and not with the outside group it's not quite a sex cult is it but it's certainly a bit fucking weird now isn't it it's a, it's a little bit fucking weird with a nude sharing channel exactly exactly Anyway, ran over. I'm going to finish smoking. Okay, I just came back on. This. I think everything I said there is facts. I'm just saying. Look, I think that was raw facts. People are going to... Not everyone may agree with that. But... Yeah, that's me. Okay. Uh, and last, I will keep Kelly's tits on my screen every screen. Yeah. And this is, to be clear, after she said it was making her feel uncomfortable. Yeah, sure. Can I ask why you said that? Like, so, so, why? Why like, would you do I'm that, bro? These things, as I'm saying these things, they're in response to the specific things that she's saying. So where she's saying, like, why would somebody pull this up on stream and then arguing with somebody that it's wrong for me to pull it up on stream? That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I'll keep pulling them up. Like, uh, they, eventually she started talking about DMC Amy, and I was like, you can DMC Amy. I'm not going to keep pulling her stuff up. I'm more so, like, making a point about, like, it seems really weird that you keep this public and up when you're saying, like, you don't want random people just pulling it up and, and looking at it. That just, that comes across as insane okay, to me. So you were saying so, this kind of, like, in the heat of the moment, you were arguing. Um, just to just be clear, you're not going to bring up her Instagram again on screen, are you? <laughs> no, I haven't pulled it up. Okay, but you, and you won't in the future? Yeah, no, I have, like, I, yeah, I have no desire to pull okay. up stuff. Yeah. So, I have no desire to. Do you see, do you see the language putting here? Because he doesn't want to say, no, I won't, because that would mean that he has to acknowledge <clears throat> that it's weird for him to keep doing it after she's asked him not to. He would have to admit that that would be weird. But he doesn't want to admit that's weird. He doesn't want to admit that's weird. So he's not saying, no, I won't, I've agreed not to. He's saying, I have no desire to. It's a very, it's a very tr tricky little word game that's being played there. This, this Tom's a bit of a cunning linguist. <laughs> kind of just a heat in the moment Sorry. thing. You were mad. You were angry. You were fighting. You were like not even mad. mad. I'm just like making arguments about what okay. it is that she's saying. Like I, I feel like if yeah, if she has a problem with people pulling her stuff up. Like she should probably private it. Um, that's a, yeah, you know, not, a really dumb like, reference to a joke from the in between this movie. It's more so that I just like I think it's kind of dumb if she uh, if she actually thinks it's weird and creepy for people to do that. I would expect some like <laughs> behavioral changes from her. I guess, but like I, I don't know, man. Courtesy is like even if I don't think it's wrong or immoral to do, right? Uh, sure. If someone says, hey, I don't want you to do this, it makes me feel uncomfortable, courtesy is just like, okay. Uh, I, I, I get, like, being angry and arguing in the moment and things like that, or being, like, in that kind of debate mode, but I don't know about uh, I don't know about some of these comments, bro. Um, well, oh, JSTLK I, like, says, Wick TV asked No, Tom, bro. Seven. See, look, you can see it. Was, uh, you can see it. Wick is okay. trying to secure his place around the women right now. This is pretty crazy. You, you're literally seeing this social dynamic play out right now. Guys, this is going to be... Look, this is going to be such a window into male psychology. This is amazing. It's amazing. Seriously. 
Seriously, guys. It's like a, a study. It's like a lab study. He's just saying it already. He's like a capo for women right now. He's trying to take Tom out. He's taking out the competition. I know so, so yeah, so I, I'm like making arguments against what it is that they're talking about in the moment, right? She's sitting there saying yeah. like, as though it's wrong for me to pull this up. So yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'll keep pulling it up. In practice, I don't actually keep pulling it up. But like, yeah, I think I think if somebody chose to keep pulling that shit up, I, I would think it's on her to to make some changes. Obviously, yes, we were talking about what's courteous or something like that. Then yeah, we're going to have a different conversation. Well, that's kind of the conversation I want to have. Like, I get it when you're kind of into Yeah, it's a, I'll say there's a Tom Pestry. Yeah, it's the, uh, it's, uh, hey, sorry, is this guy bothering you? Is this guy bothering you? It's that. Fair enough. But at the end of the day, man, like, uh, look, th that is not the time to talk about how someone wants your dick is if they're being like, hey, what you did make me uncomfortable. I, I don't think that's the time, brother. Um, that's just my <laughs> that's just my genuine impression, brother. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, why does thank you for the Twitch gift sub to JubeTube. Appreciate you. Um, so, okay. I guess, uh, uh, does anyone, is chat, is Tom giving me an honest rundown of what happened? What do you think? Does anyone want to come and uh, uh, talk uh, to me um, and Tom here that may have a different point of view? Uh, jump backstage, gang. <laughs> channel just uh channel name just said tom thinks he's destiny sometimes like yeah like a destiny tons of other streamers do this shit regularly they're acting like it's weird that i did it it's not weird this is fuck this shit's regular it's well, common on this in this space like it, it she has the right to feel however she wants no, i, I, I don't that. i have the i, I that think, i need to care but yeah i don't think it was wrong to like look at her instagram right i don't think that was wrong but i i do i do feel some kind of way when uh, Dude, destiny doesn't sit. i've literally never seen destiny sit there for like 20 seconds at a time ogling women and he certainly doesn't do it every other day Ogling women just for being on a debate. He said stuff like, yo, I've seen him like, make comments about like, a woman having huge tits and asking for Instagram and shit like that. Sure, yeah, that happens. I 100% in Destiny do stuff like that. But I mean, this guy is called a weird degenerate sex freak. Right? That's kind of like his brand, is being a weird degenerate sex freak. She's like, hey, this creeps me out. I would rather you not do it. And your response is um, to talk about how she wants your dick and that you, you you're going to keep on, doing realize, it no matter what she wants. You realize her saying, like, she wants my dick is obviously, like, a self-deprecating joke when she obviously doesn't. She's making it very clear that, like, she wasn't happy with what happened. This isn't, like, a like a real statement. We don't I, – I just – I feel really weird about the fact that, like, this is the most blatant fucking joke in the context that it's happening. And – there are jokes that are going to be like inappropriate based on what's going on, but based on like the level of seriousness of that comment, I don't, I, I just, I don't think that people's like offense to it is, uh, it, it should be taken seriously in any way. It's, it's, it's a fucking joke. It's not serious. I'm not actually saying she, like, uh, you agree with that, right? He's going to come on in a second and he's going to tell us, um, if this is, uh, what happened. Cause again, I, I wasn't watching the stream. I wasn't there. I don't know. Right. Um, and I want to kind of hear, since it happened on his stream, I want to kind of hear from. Yeah, I was muted. Fuck you. Fuck and you. See what he has to say. Yeah. Um, Fuck you. What I just said Fuck you're you. Saying that these are like weird comments to make. Fuck you. understand? You. There's no level of seriousness to what it is that I'm saying, and that it's it's. I think it's weird to try to pretend as though they're serious, and that we should be offended by them. I understand what you're saying. I don't. I don't know how serious you were. You're telling me now that you weren't serious, that it was a joke. But I don't know how they came. Yo, I'm pretty sure this uh, this stylo guy raped a white woman. Yo, I'm pretty sure. Yo, yo, yo like, someone yes, got on this. This makes sense to where it would be. Okay, so you're saying if there's other context that makes it serious somehow, I don't know what context that could possibly be. But yeah, where what, like I would well, love to the, hear the context, context that it would be serious. <laughs> the context that it'd be serious is if you weren't joking and you were seriously saying I like I don't understand. Um, the it's not where obviously where a joke to me. It's not obviously a joke. I understand that you're saying you were joking, and I understand also that you said that uh, you won't actually do any of this, and that's good. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't obviously come off as a joke. Um, uh, Jay Stickles, is that how do you, how the fuck do you say your name, bro? Uh, you just it's like a worship. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. My op, the apprentice. <laughs> oh man, it's so great that Jay Stalk is. It, it feels like he really is finally fulfilling his destiny of ending Tom Foolery. You know, like I've groomed him. Test. You say it however you want. Okay, uh, Jay. I'll, I'll call you J Dog. J Dog. Um, so this happened on your stream. Can you give us like kind of a rundown here? What what's going on? Yeah. So we got a clip of Tom covering some some. I don't know. It was like an argument with counterpoints. I think on my stream. Oh, you were there, but it was before you had come on. Okay. So he was watching that, and then his chat started basically saying, hey, uh, you need to make Kelly's camera bigger. Hey, like, we want to see Kelly. So this was before he brought up his IG, by the way. They were asking specifically. Oh, so his chat asked him to bring up his the chat Kelly? asked him to. Is and, that true, Tom? And yeah, his chat, my chat asked me. Your chat asked you. Okay, fair enough. And fair it's enough. the same mod who always does this with any attractive woman who asks for their Instagram to be brought up. What did he say? I can't remember I for the exact logs, but it was something like, 
yeah, get your tits up on screen. There's something along those lines. So, guys, I started late tonight, but we've already got 150 people here. Now, the only issue is only 30 of you have pressed the like button, which is shocking, frankly. But we can still fix that. Okay, guys, so please remember to like, subscribe, donate, buy a membership, gift a membership, buy a super chat if you can. Thank you very much. Asking for the Discord in chat. I can put a Discord link in chat. Let's throw that in real quick. Join the Discord as well, guys. There you go. So in my mind, you know, we went through a couple of these instances, and it seemed like there was a pattern of sexualizing these women and then getting their Instagrams up on screen so everybody could make sexual comments. It seems like that's a pattern in this community. Is it a pattern in your community, Tom? 100%, yes. Is that, see, I can't tell if you're joking, right? Well, I'm, I'm not, not joking. joking. Yes, we, yes, we, we sexualize women who sexualize themselves. If they have sexual Instagrams, if they have sexual photos of themselves, we appreciate them. This isn't the, yeah. This we appreciate right. them. I like appreciate it. I just like appreciating the female form. You sound like such a fucking creep, dude. You sound like the sleaziest freak in the world, and how do you not see it? Sure, but if they if they say that they're uncomfortable or ask you to stop, do you do you guys stop? Tom, yeah, it, Tom, was... the type of ninja to wear a female body inspector t-shirt, hundred percent. First time anybody's ever asked me to stop, so yeah, sure. Okay. Um, are you thank you for the gifted membership, John Sanchez. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Feel uncomfortable? I am positive. Yes. I, well, you, okay. The first time that anybody has ever asked me to stop, JC. Okay, that was the question. Yes, okay, this is the first question, time anyone has ever asked me to stop. Uncomfortable? Uh, no, this is not the first time I've made somebody uncomfortable. Yes, I just found out about somebody else afterwards, and yeah, I wouldn't pull their stuff. Welcome up. back, first day. Okay. Do you think that that has a way higher <laughs> chance of happening if you're doing it to women who exist in the same uh, space, the same debate space that you do? It has a higher chance of happening because they actually know about it. Yes, obviously. Let me ask you this, Tom. Would you do it while, if you were debating uh, uh, one of these women? Would you do it while they were on your stream? Would you do it to their it, face, so to speak? It depends on the context, right? Like, if I'm just pulling it up out of nowhere as though, like, uh, like, it, yeah, it depends on what we're talking about. It, there's a lot that depends on this. Uh, I don't know that there's, like, I don't know that you, you would have to, it, like, if we're sitting there talking about whether or not it's okay to sexualize women and they're arguing that it's not and then pulling up fucking photos of them sexual, that where they're sexualizing themselves, yeah, I would say that's a pretty good point where, like, they're, uh, they're obviously doing it uh, as well. So, yeah, why not? Why, why is it bad? Like, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of areas where, yeah, I would say it's perfectly fine. But if it's like used as like an ad hom to like try to make them look bad, no, definitely not. So you understand that in certain contexts and certain circumstances, it would be inappropriate. Oh, first, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, it's been amazing. Appropriate, even if they've sexualized themselves in other areas, to bring it up and to to use it uh, and look at it with your chat, you would understand that that would be not a good thing. Even if they haven't said anything, even if they haven't um, told you it makes you makes them uncomfortable, none of that. You understand that there are certain circumstances where it would be inappropriate for you to do that. Yeah, when we're saying inappropriate, we're saying like, yeah, it's like an ad hominem in this situation. You're kind of like trying to to delegitimize them. Then yeah, that would obviously be a, a negative way of interacting in a debate. I should be pretty clear here that I actually don't think pulling up the Instagram in a bubble or sorry in a vacuum is that bad. I really don't think so. What okay. I consider to be the bad behavior here is that when Kelly expresses discomfort with that or disgust with that, that she expresses that, and then Tom's response is to come in and say, "Oh, Kelly's always wanted my cock." Right? If we think about that, you know, real life yes, situation, that was, where somebody uh, says, really hey, you're creeping me out a little bit, thing. you're creeping me out a little bit, and you go up to them and say, "Hey, I know you've always wanted my dick." Wait, wait. Retarded. Why is he being so retarded? To to delegitimize them, then yeah, that would obviously be a, a negative way of interacting in a debate. I should be pretty clear here that I actually don't think pulling up the Instagram in a bubble or sorry. In... Tom used to be better at debating. I I feel Tom used to be better at debating, and he didn't used to talk this poorly either. I am worried about him. I'm worried about his life situation right now. I've it's concerning. He's off his game. Something's causing him to be off his game. In a vacuum, is that bad? I really don't think so. What okay. I consider, yeah, like <laughs> it's hilarious to me that people say, or well, Tom was saying, I, I, I'm pretty sure Tom has said that he's got more charisma than Jay Stalk, or like maybe Mantis said it or something. I said, Jay Stalk does, Jay Stalk may have like a bit of a monotone voice and he's a bit dry, but he does have charisma and he does have a bit of wit to him. Uh, and people seem to doubt me. People doubted me. And now everyone realizes, oh wait, no, Jay Stalker is actually a pretty funny guy. I, I've, but I've been saying this for how long? And now you see him next to Tom. Square, finally, they're interacting again. Jay Stalk, after a few weeks of training, a few weeks of streaming, a few weeks of learning. Tom's five years of training, five years of learning. You see the power level difference. Jay Stalker's cursed energy aura is just seeping i can see it i'm i'm in awe <laughs> meanwhile tom's sitting there oh yeah oh yeah i don't i don't i appreciate the female form
All right, buddy. Consider to be the bad behavior here is that when Kelly expresses discomfort with that or disgust with that, that she expresses that. And then Tom's response is to come in and say, oh, Kelly's always wanted my cock. Right? If we think about that in a real life yes, situation, that was, uh, where somebody says, really hey, brave you're, creeping me out a bit, you're creeping me out a little bit, and you go up to them and say, hey, I know you've always wanted my dick. Obviously, this is insane. Uh, so Tom is saying that's a joke, though. Like, he was joking, which it's very inappropriate, okay. uh, to be clear. So if he made that joke to somebody in public, that would also be insane. No? I think, I, no, I think that's fucking soy as fuck, no. Uh, to go do? up to a okay, woman so who says you're... you're making them uncomfortable with your sexual objectification of them, and then to say, hey, uh, I know- Hour five? Savage, where have you been? Hour five? Hour ten? Hour fifteen, I think you mean. No, you've always wanted my dick. As a joke. Hold on. It depends on whether or not my sexual objectification of them is inappropriate. Yes, if I did something inappropriate and then I You're do that, yeah, that would be fucked up. wearing a bikini. No, I don't think that it's okay to like sexually objectify women when they're at Why? the beach. Yeah, beach. you're just sorry. Stop calling me out on my uh, <laughs> antisocial freakish behavior. Stop laughing at me for being an antisocial freak. You're being soy. No, no, actually, dude, you're a freak. You're a weirdo. Because no one wants to I be think around that you. when they're there, you wearing a bikini has like utility to what it is that they're trying to do. They're no, trying, yes, doesn't. but they're not there, there for are a, a thousand different reason. swimsuits they could wear. Get out of here with utility. Shut yes, the fuck up. And wearing less clothes actually dries off faster when you're getting out of the water and like it, <laughs> you're actually trying to get sun. That's kind of the point Dude, in being at the beach no is to try way. to get sun and to try to get a tan. Have you yes, apologized? Yes, that is the utility of bikinis. Have you apologized to Kelly? I know you said to me that you wouldn't do it anymore, right? But since then, have you reached I out? Apologize, apologize for her feelings. Yes, I feel sorry for her feelings <laughs> that she fails this way. I don't think I did anything wrong, but yes, I'm sorry that she feels that way. Brother, he is a rapist in, in, in mindset. In mindset, to be clear, I'm not alleging any specific action, I'm saying he's got a rapist mindset. Okay, well, I mean, he even just said that he didn't think I did anything wrong, so. Uh, not what, with the Instagram thing. You Obviously, want, what? what you're saying is a joke. You would have to be absolutely psychotic to think somebody would take this as a joke. Like, you are so far outside of the norm here that everybody thinks you're a moron for even addressing this and not just... I highly disagree that everybody thinks I'm a moron. Okay, dude, look, this is something he keeps bringing up, right? He keeps saying, like, Ev everyone agrees with me. Everyone agrees with me. Literally everyone agrees with me. Should we see how true that is? Should we see how true that is? Should we see what that's... How, what's going on in, in DGG over this issue? Okay, so that, that first one is not not quite <laughs> siding against Tom. Well, kind of. Tom may not be a sex pest, but he's ugly and annoying, so I hate him anyway. Feels okay, man. The trial of the sex pest Tom. Uh, people talking about Turkey Tom making jokes about that. Where is it? Where are the ones from last night? Where does those start? Jizzle has been calling Thomas sex pest as a meme, and recently Tom has been pulling up Kelly's OF pictures on stream. That's not quite true. Jason and Kelly fighting 4v2. Tom plus Ryan go around the woman, Brittany Simon. It's just people advertising the stream. It's just people advertising the stream right now. That's gay. Yeah, that's all about Tom Cruise. Where is the ones from last night gone? Where are these? Bro, it's just all people talking about Tom Cruise. Bro, what's with the Tom Cruise shit? Bro, what is going on in this fucking chat? Bro, why are they, <laughs> Bro, why are they all just talking about Tom Cruise? <laughs> can I, if I just quotation mark it, can I find that? Okay, here we go, here we go. WTF is wrong with Tom Foolery. Tom Foolery sounding like a fancy sloth. Tom Foolery being a weird, creepy, sexual degenerate. Feels okay. It feels weird, man, sorry. Being a weird, creepy, sexual degenerate, yep. <clears throat> How is JSOC still making up draw about this Tom Foolery dipshit? Okay, that's 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 on Tom's side. Big Tom Foolery drama stream. Thoughts on Tom Foolery. Sitting here looking at the spreadsheet. Listening to Tom Foolery show. Good guy creeper. Re. 
Tom Fullery is such a loser. Drama TLDR. Tom Fullery has a rapist mentality. Literally what I just said. Tom Fullery just admitted women are objects. Who the fuck is Tom Fullery? Is Tom Fullery crazy? Tom Fullery sexually harassing Kelly Omegalo. I don't know shit about Tom Fullery, but Tom rapes in clear text on Jay's talk stream is kind of wild. Tom Fullery is spurging hard. Tom Fullery getting exposed to the sex pest. Look, I just don't... I don't know where he's getting this idea that everyone agrees with him. Like, this is the biggest community that has wing wind of this, really. Like, this is going to be the biggest source of discussion around this issue. And and they are all... like It's hard to find a, a comment on Jay that's on Tom's side. Like, there's a couple, maybe, like, Jay saying Jace looks drama farming. But that's like... There's none saying... Wait, what Tom did is totally normal. What's the problem? I don't see that anywhere. I okay. highly disagree with this. But sure. You you were even debating people all day yesterday on whether or not that's the case, bro. You know that's not the case. Your chat was disagreeing oh. with you every time. Yeah, because so he had a few people, some of them from Tom's community, that he Discord or banned to get debates when he had a thousand people watching him. So I, I think just think Tom just doesn't realize that just because you have like three people disagreeing in your chat doesn't mean everyone's turned on you. Because not everyone has uh, only five people in the chat. A, a lot of people actually do, be do, do a lot better than Tom does. I just don't think he's quite realized that yet. No, no, no. They were disagreeing with me on what they thought was my point, which was that the Instagram post looking at, like, sorry, looking at the Instagram profile was bad. I admitted to my chat, I don't think that that's that bad. You know, in a vacuum, that's kind of fine to me. Okay. It was the. So you were debating people on things that you, you didn't going... think were bad. That's what you're saying. It... People were coming on and debating you on shit that you didn't believe. Yeah. People thought I was upset about the Instagram post, and I was not. And I made that very clear with them. Okay. Or, sorry. You looking at the Instagram. Yeah. I made it very clear. Not upset about that. Totally fine. What was weird was when Kelly expressed her discomfort with that, you came in and made your quote unquote jokes, which I actually think were just you being very upset. And your close friends also think that that was just you being very upset and deciding to be the villain. Okay, I, I and they're wrong. Like, this is, uh, yeah, I was just fucking around. Like, I think, I thought it was funny. I still think it's funny. I think it's based. Okay. <laughs> I, I it's funny and based to, to be an antisocial I, I, freak. It, it's, it's funny and based. I mean, it can be. Sure, it can be. But you've been spurring about it, right? So it's hard to believe that he actually, think it's, he actually thinks it's funny. The thing is that like, it's funny to be antisocial when the thing you're doing is so obviously wrong that no one is going to take it as a good thing to do, right? <clears throat> here's, here's a comparison. Sam Hyde reviewed Anissa Joma's OnlyFans on stream and was making very vicious, very aggressive sexual comments about her. The reason he did that, and the reason that's funny, is because he fucking hates her, and it is designed to make her feel bad and uncomfortable and unsettled. That is the point, and that is why it's funny. It is funny because it is so obviously antisocial and so aggressive that makes it funny. The issue here is that Tom... Tommy's defending it as like a normal action, as like something that's just like totally fine to do. He genuinely believes that. Sam Hyde would never sit there and tell you with a straight face, like, oh yeah, I was being like normal there. That's like something that everyone does. No, that's something he did because he fucking hates her. Please avoid pausing Will Wick's mouth. As well. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Again, I didn't see this interaction. I'm going to be clear. I haven't seen the interaction. I haven't even seen a lot of the debate around it. I have just heard, like, you know how you hear, like, oh, Tom's in trouble, etc. Through the gate Brian kind of thing. And I wanted to bring you on to kind of see what actually happened. Like, I again, I don't have an issue with you bringing up someone's um, Instagram profile or whatever. I don't care, right? Like, okay. Uh, but it really changes when the person says, hey, please don't do that. And then you, in the moment push back against that right the i guess the only correct answer is the only courteous answer is okay sorry i won't do it again i don't know what to tell you 
I, um, you're saying, hey, you didn't do anything wrong. Go and apologize, right? No. When I said, when I told you that I'm apologizing, that she felt that way, and you're making faces Instagram, about it, you're actually saying you agree with that. Isn't... Tom may not have done anything necessarily wrong, but it's in, it is in, um, his interest to respect boundaries that Kelly lays out. Like you don't, you've got no obligation to respect the boundaries. I'm stranger on the internet. Like fuck that. But you guys operate in the same show, social circles. You hang around with the same people. You might want her on your show at some point. If she sets a boundary, you should probably respect that. Just out of self-interest, if nothing else, right? <clears throat> Obviously. So, so when she sets a boundary, you spurging out is like a big social faux pas. How does he not get this? And if you accidentally cross a boundary, yeah, generally people people apologize. People say, "Oh, sorry, sorry about that. I didn't I didn't realize that was a thing for you." It's not, it's not that fucking up. Stop saying that you think I'm muted because I know I'm not muted. I know I can see. I'm looking at my OBS. I can see right here. Stop lying to me, you freak. Wrong thing. It's your response to her that's the wrong thing that you should apologize. Hey, hold on, hold on. Wait, that's not. That's not what I asked. Oh. You made a face when you said, did you apologize to her for this, right? Making her feel uncomfortable that I pulled up her Instagram mm -hmm. and I said, yes, I've, I apologize that she felt that way. I didn't apologize for what oh. it is I did. And you made this face like I'm being weird for saying that, because but that's, that's what you're saying. Because that's not an apology, man. That's that's, that's what a... you just said, Wick. That's what you just said. Differentiate what I said from what you just okay. said. Let apologize that again. she yeah. feels that way, not for what I did. Okay. I don't think you have to apologize for how she feels. I think you have to apologize for what she, what you did. And the, to be clear, not the Instagram. Like, why is he so retarded? That. There's he, everyone recognizes that I'm sorry you feel that way is a non-apology, right? That that's a total non-apology. Everyone knows that. Everyone above the age of ten knows that. Why is he genuinely arguing this? What I think you have to that's something you say to mock someone when she said she was uncomfortable. I think oh, I'm sorry you feel that way. Appropriate, and I think you should say, "Hey, exactly. it got in the hate of the moment." Okay, I'm sorry, I shouldn't yeah, have said if that. If she if she said stuff about that, I haven't seen it. I like when I talked to her, we were talking about the Instagram posts, and uh, when I was making these comments, I, we were talking about she the Instagram posts just you now. Times. I uh, know yeah, she she did to try to like obfuscate from okay, what it was that she I, was talking okay. about in the first well, place. You just but said we didn't she didn't actually talk have about conversations. It, and I just told you no, she did. We now did you not talk she did. about. Thank you. I, uh, okay. Yes, she has said things about that. If she's saying that she's offended by it, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, I just I I think that you just keep Kelly lying constantly here. So I just have to keep you. Kind oh, of let's go, Rebecca. Things. Let's go. You said that she told me that she was offended by my girlfriend. You're saying that that's what she said to me. Let's go 199 from Love Machine. Stylo. I can't even. Stylo hard me when I was 17, allegedly. She was offended by it. She said by explicitly this, yes? she wasn't offended by it. And she said if she did say that at some point, she didn't mean it. She just thought it was creepy. She felt creeped out. Okay. So, so a, love I, Mac. I, yes, knee super shattered one dollar and ninety nine yes, cents. Stylo H at chat rode me when I was seventeen. She she was allegedly, out about by me. You brought up no, the comments over and over. Hold on, if comments. I may, if I may, uh, yeah. just uh, J Dog. <laughs> uh, J Dog. Was J -Dog. she offended wait, 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 by wait. the I'm comments? Sorry, hold on. Hold on. No, right. I just want to ask: Was she I actually didn't... offended? Right. I'm Tom. sorry, but Tom's spurging already. He was. This is all funny to me. This is all funny to me. I think it's based. He's like, oh, 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 hold on, hold on. You're spurging, dude. You're upset. You're pissed. You're pissed. You're mad. You're clearly mad. You're not finding this funny. You're mad. You're upset. But he just said, the, like, she, yes, she brought them up. The, we weren't talking about whether or not she said something about them. We were talking about whether or not she said she was offended by the comments. JSTLK. That's what we were talking about. Not that she didn't just say something in about them in general, but that she hasn't actually said a feeling about these things, that she was offended by them to where I would feel the need to apologize. That's what we were talking about, yes? Uh, I don't know if she said she was offended or not with the comments. I just know it was brought up. Okay. We'd have to go to the clip if we wanted to see what actually happened, which I'm always happy to do because 
seems like you, you can't remember what happens. Well, I, I had a plan for today, but I guess we're doing this now. You're um, the one who just forgot what the conversation was about I guess, just then. So I'm I, guess, I can I can just DM her and ask, um, but I, I'll, I'll figure it out. But if if it turns out that she was offended by the comments, Tom, if if I talk to her and it turns out that mm -hmm. she your comments during the debate or whatever made her feel uncomfortable, like when you said that uh, she wants my dick and I'm not going to stop doing it. Would like, you boss has had a plan for today, but to also, no, it's it not a matter of not doing do my hands. Look, I'm just chilling. I'm just, I try not to think about my hands too much, okay? But you're all bringing it into my mind now. It's quite annoying first, T. It's quite annoying. And that may have been your intention, now that I'm thinking about it. It may have been your intention to try and put me off. That's okay. We'll move. Uh, like, I, I don't know if it has to be public, but I, I think at least... A Brother, she wants my yeah, dick. Now you're thinking sure. about it. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, again, yeah, I would yeah, say, yeah. would apologize. Yeah, yeah. Stop doing way, gestures. Like, my intent was not for her. I saw them, like, Trump way. gestures. My intent was right? just to, like, yeah, kind of fuck around and, like, argue against what it was that she was saying in a hyperbolic way. It wasn't, uh, yeah, it wasn't to offend her. It wasn't to, like, uh, yeah, Wait, make her feel even uncomfortable. In chat? That was not what my intent was. Yeah. Okay. But you would apologize, just to be clear, you would apologize and I can't see Addy's messages. Oh, you weren't oh they added you earlier. Oh. Say sorry for making those comments if it turns out she was offended. Hey, yes. can, yeah. I, uh, can I can I jump in really quickly? Go for it, Becca. Um, why not? Like I we Thank haven't you. been a busy fucking couple of days. Hey Justic. I like the raw chat test thing. That's that's an interesting concept. Um, I haven't talked to you, Tom, about this. Obviously, I've seen it <clears> and like fucking <throat> bits around it. But like, just really simply, from what I'm seeing from the outside, what I'm hearing from other people, what I sort of heard tonight is like, if you say things like, um, "I apologize for the way you feel about this," <laughs> it's it's. I, I mean, even okay. if you mean Rebecca coming in with the with the emotional intelligence. Let's see, Kenny. Can you convince, can you make Tom realize this is a non-apology, or at least admit that it's a non-apology? Meaning it sincerely, it sounds bad, and I think, generally speaking, um, it looks odd to end up in a situation like this where you bring up someone's Instagram. I've got, I'm going to be honest, I, I don't care, um, and then well, that... you end up debate hold on, very quickly, and then you end up looking like you're debating for some logical reason when actually I think you're down a rabbit hole and an acceptable answer for a community that is not really hospitable to you would have just been, ah, fuck you guys. I don't care. And I'm confused as to why you didn't do that. <laughs> That's just what I'm seeing. And I want to say, I'm not hugely crit critical of you. Tom, why are you behaving like a low cow right now? This is yet again, Beckett is having another, another one of these moments. Yet another one of these moments where he's like, bro, you're my friend. Please don't do this. I can see where this is going. Please stop. <laughs> I don't think you're a sex pest. I don't think this, but yeah, it just looks like you've gone into a spiral to me personally. That's all. Yeah, I think I think that's the point is to like moralize some guy just pulling up an Instagram that everybody agrees. There's nothing yeah, wrong with this, but no that is where the problem the starts is that about. is that yes, like her feeling creeped out by this, I'm somehow supposed to apologize for what it is that I did. We all agree I don't need to apologize for what it is that I did. That I need to apologize for her feelings and that, that because that wasn't my intent with pulling it up. We all agree. out for Hold everybody. On. Everybody keeps... Fuck me, this comment. Holy shit. Imagine if you reach into your sink to clear out a clog and Wick pops up and bites your hand. <laughs> Seeing yeah, him bro. look at the, he keeps bringing up the Instagram viewing. viewing I don't, Instagram. I don't care and about the Instagram. Hold on, that's what we were just talking about. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. stop. That's what Beckett brought up. That's what Beckett was, really Beck was stop, talking about. The JC, okay. Stop, or I will Keep stop up with both the conversation. of you. Tom, Jesticles, both of you. Okay, Tom, I want to be very bro, clear. Wait, get your fucking mouth away from the camera, you nasty bastard! What are you doing, bro? Dude, get the fuck that you should not be a fellow that looks like you should not be this close to a camera. What is going on, Wick? Sit on the other side. Uh, rock your chair back. We need to get a wire can we crowdfund Wick needs a new crowdfunding campaign. He's a wireless keyboard and mouse so he can sit on the other side of the room. So I don't have to look at his fucking disgusting mouth. Let's run this back. Let's have a let's get some analysis on this.
That's what really Beckett stop. was talking about, Daisy, okay? Stop or I will... It's not even like he has to lean in for his microphone either, because his microphone's on his headset. He's got because he, he refuses to spend any money on his streaming setup to improve the quality of his content. But it, see, it's not even like he's getting close. It's not even like he's he's doing this and like trying to be heard over people. He's just literally, he's giving us just a full like you know scan, a full scan of his mouth. We're getting like, bro, we could be doing a reverse colonoscopy. That's how far into him we're going right now. Yeah, Stop both the of you, Tom, Jesticles, both of you. Okay, Tom, I want to be very clear. It's not the Instagram that. That's not what you did. When we say you need to apologize for what you did, that's not it. That's not it. No one's talking about that. I don't care about that. Pull up Instagrams all day. I don't give a shit, right? But the problem is what you did was when she said, hey, this makes me uncomfortable. I wish she would stop. What you did was go in and try to debate her on it and made some very inappropriate comments that she felt, uh, that she possibly felt, and we're going to find out. We're going to figure that out made her uncomfortable like i want to stop That's here what you... oh actually can no, i just very quickly clarify sorry, one please. thing before hold we on. move on I, no, no, just, i'm sorry just... hold on i still need to respond to what it is that beckett just, is saying you guys are all twisting yeah, this clarify i i yeah, sure, beckett ahead. was actually saying he said when you say you're apologizing for how she feels this sounds like a non-apology and i'm saying hey if she's saying that like uh if people are saying that i need to apologize for what i did in an as of like why is he like instant? crying like uh, dude it he has one of the most insufferable upset voices that i've ever heard dude, no dude I, I, uh, uh. holy fuck take five take some deep breaths tom calm it the fuck down you sound so fucking bitchy so whiny so low t please stop with the one hp yes one hp voice exactly grand post I just don't feel like I need to apologize for that. But my intent was not to make her feel uncomfortable. So I am apologizing that that she feels this way, but I'm not saying that I like that I did something wrong by pulling up the Instagram post. That's what I said. We didn't change the topic here. We're not I'm not obfuscating. This is what Beckett said. No, that Boots, I'm not doing to. that. Okay. And then everybody kind of acted like we were talking about you something didn't different. Didn't let Beckett clarify before you went on that rant. Yeah, I just want to I just want to clarify. clarify. I don't think there is an apology you can give. Because it's just bit. Be... Listen, listen, listen. I'm not just gonna sit here and shit on Alex for appearance. That's that's mean. Okay. I'm even though Alex wants to go around and shit talk to me on streams all the time, it's okay. I'm fine with Alex. I've got no problem. Alex is just some retarded chatter. Okay? That's it's fine. It's no issue. I'm not gonna sit here and just rail. Listen, there's plenty of there's plenty of memes in Spicy Chat already, calling Alex ugly, making fun of her appearance. You guys have had fun with it. You guys have done it. Okay. Hello, Take 321 super shatted $2. Kui wants Wick's tooth in his mouth. <laughs> That's so gross. That's so gross. Efficient because of the additional incentives, shall we say, around this. I think that your even if your intentions are good, whatever you do, the further you like push into this, the more it feeds into things. I don't want to stay too long. I'm not really involved in the drama. I do want to apologize to Justic, just really randomly. The person I saw you were called you're like retard and talentless. I've actually watched a bit of your stuff, and it seems pretty good. So I'm like, on the glaze, yeah. cringe. <laughs> Beckett won. Beckett won. Honestly, I, I've convinced. I I think I sold Reservoir and Beckett on J Stalk. I think that's what happened. Because they were both saying, like, oh, this guy, fucking loser, DGG, fucking retard, you're a bit boring, that is stupid, you know, just brings on all the whores. And then they've, now they've changed. Now they've changed. Now they're saying, oh, Chase looks cool, actually. Oh, Tom, you're kind of a freak. Look how it changed. Look how the tides turn. Look how the tides turn on the bald man. Boots been mad aggy for days now. Boots hasn't been aggy. Boots been uh, uh, kind of funny in chat the last few days. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm not so, watching. You know, I'm not trying to build a relationship. Yes, you're come dazzling. You're come dazzling. No, 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 no. Fuck off, Mantis. I have said on my. Yeah, that's screen, what you're doing right now. It's okay, it. okay. Alex kind of won there. Alex, right, you got to hand it, Styler. You got to hand it. Scene which he would not have seen that I was withdrawing that comment 
And I'm just doing that publicly. Thank you for the five I'm just doing that publicly. Really you. And be and holding myself to like disclosed standards because that's what we're doing now. It's become important. I've pushed it. There we go. Cool. <laughs> Have a lovely evening, all. Let us. Okay. Bye. Yeah, okay. See ya. Okay, uh, Mantis, you said you wanted to come in and defend Tom. Go for it. Well, it's there's bigger issues I have with this whole thing. I was what there you? from the beginning, okay. and I was probably, I guess, the person that started this whole thing by getting up on his stream and taking issue with the shit they were saying. I just want to clarify something. The way it was brought but why up... why is this a 2v1? What the fuck? Up ...initially is the problem in my opinion, not how it's turned out now. And I think what's happening here is JSORC is trying to reframe the issue because he knows the original reason why they were talking shit on the stream had nothing, he didn't have any kind of real reason before you, to do oh, that. Before you go, I want to ask Jaystickles, what was the context of them first uh, bringing it up on stream? No, can I please right. tell you what I was, what, why I, I took issue with what I heard? first and then you can tell me and I will see, right? Okay, but we'll I see if he tells him... the truth. Tell the tell the yeah. tell his side of the story first, then I'll hear from you. Is that okay? Okay. Just yeah. okay. So, so, lie. Yes, it is. the way it went the way it went for me was we knew Tom was covering this stuff. We got a clip of him looking at the Instagram. Somebody said, Oh, Tom's reviewing your Instagram on screen, Kelly. So we went and looked at that that clip and we brought it up and we all just went, This is weird. This is just weird while he's like just scrolling through it. I think what did Kelly took issue with the uh, culture, the cultural appropriation comment? Uh, I think I, I might have gone in like not. I might have said something like not beating the sex best allegations, right? Would yes. that be accurate? Sure. And uh, Kimmy... well, that's that's obviously like a, just an offhanded. <laughs> it's a, it's a self referential joke. Marie, Anna, whoever the fuck, was saying it was the sexual callback. Harassment. Okay. So did so Tom I have an issue. Kimmy Marie. Hang on. I have an issue because what's happened here is I wouldn't answer that question could, either. You could possibly take issue with the comments within Tom's chat when it was pulled up, but Tom himself did nothing that would warrant sex testing or sexual harassment claims. That was my issue. The way you were talking about it with Kelly Jean, yes, yeah, she might have just said that's weird and creepy, but it was in the context of on your stream. I don't think sex. Listen, I was actually thinking about the. Uh, I, I, you know, I'm something of a linguist myself, actually. And um, I was thinking about the, the, the term sex pest earlier. And obviously sex pest, it, it's, you know, you're, you're pestering sexually. Okay, obviously, right? You know, that's a retarded way to break it down. But that, that's the point, right? You're repeatedly talking, so you're repeatedly making advances on someone or something like that, right? But would would you call it pestering? So pestering could be someone, cons say, you're, say you're in public. Pestering could be someone repeatedly coming up to you right <clears throat> it could be that but let's say you're in a group of friends and let's say that there's a guy going up to every girl in the group trying it on with them they get getting shot down and then immediately moving on to the next one would that not be a sex pest would that not be someone who's pestering Because I feel like that's kind of the dynamic that Jay Stalk is pointing out. Yeah, I'm glad we're on the same page that one. I thought I was, I thought I, I broke, I cracked, I, I'm like Neo. Okay, I'm like Destiny. I cracked the Matrix that one. Further, called him a sex pest and said he was sexually harassing okay. someone I just for pulling up their this. Instagram. So, so engage with that first. Did, yeah, did you call uh, uh, Tom a sex pest just for pulling up the Instagram? I called Tom a sex pest before that. Oh. Um, he's, he's been doing it for months. He Why? is a weird, degenerate fucking... <laughs> he's a weird, degenerate freak to me. The way he deals with sex on his stream, it's gross. Yeah, so it this is bad faith. Is. Is. Absolutely. Yeah. Bad well, how is this bad what? faith? What? What? That's not... How is that bad faith in any way? What is she about? Why do these people just always go, bad faith, bad faith, bad faith? Fuck off. He's just engage with the fucking point, retard. That's not like a moral claim. That's not a moral claim. That's just me talking shit. I think he's disgusting. But that's just like, base. Jason, I'm not telling anybody else. Yeah, that okay. About it. I just, and I just want everyone to, to understand that that, that's the, that means hang on, the same hang on. thing as weird sex freak. So I just use. I just want everyone to understand that's how that it is. when Kelly Jean's when Kelly Jean's sitting I mean, yeah. on this person's stream, who's made it very public, 
and spread around this fucking thing about sex pesting that when she brings up a little weird and creepy comment, it is fodder on his stream to then take that, extrapolate it into something that it absolutely wasn't, and that was the problem. Mm -hmm. So people can take out their anger with me on Kelly Jean because she feels a certain way about somebody. No, actually, her. when I jumped in, when I jumped in, I wasn't trying to talk to Kelly Jean. She just kept making it about her. I was trying to talk Same. to you and Wolfman and Kimmy Same. Marie, and so it did seems Tom. Like a understandable reaction if people are ogling your. Kelly Instagram just tried like to make it all about her. Weird about it. Let me ask you. Like, if, if she feels about. weird about something and you come in defending the behavior, yeah, obviously she's probably gonna have something to say about it. Yes, obviously. No, I have it not happened to her. What? This is like the one time where it doesn't make sense to be like, why is Kelly making everything about her? On, I didn't finish. Wait, I I'm didn't finish my second part. Okay, but I'll ask you the question, then you can finish your second part. When you answer the question, I'm going to give it to you. Right? Thank you. Uh, do you think that Tom did anything inappropriate or wrong during this whole interaction from start to finish? So, uh, not just pulling up the Instagram, but also in his response. Do you think he did anything wrong? And if so, what? No. No, so you think it was okay for him to ta tell uh, the chat, the public chat, that Kelly Jean just wants his dick? Yes, I think it's a joke, and I think it's funny. Okay, and I'm that... not, uh, I'm not morally grandstanding sure. here like everyone and else. That... Oh, one's, I don't think it... Jay Stalk explicitly and repeatedly said, "I am not making a moral claim." It's, uh, appropriate, and he did nothing wrong when he said he was going to keep doing it, even though he's told me now. And to be fair. That, no, uh, not in the that. context of the joke. Because if you understand the joke being she clearly, it was never, it's not real. He obviously knows she doesn't want him in any way and she thinks he's disgusting. Then when you say something like that, it's ridiculous. And for you to yeah, take it so seriously, it. it's also ridiculous. Very ridiculous. It shows that you kind of don't have a sense of humor. Essentially. Uh, I mean, because maybe not. Maybe, I, maybe I'm humorless. Context, That's and true. And it's weird afterwards. Yeah, it's I'm sorry. And then just, everything, just a quick everything. Reminder that all end, of Tom's friends came and gave this exact opinion that it was very weird the comments and that they were uh, yeah, but they're not digging on the comments. No, no, no. Okay. Well, just yeah, all of the people that he associated on. with well, up to on. this point. I just... But <clears throat> the reason why you wouldn't do weird things is because it's a social faux pas and put people off. That's the incentive to not do weird things. That's the... So <laughs> it just it makes you seem antisocial if you completely blow through that and disregard it and continue doing actions that people have complaints about anyway. What a, well, my second point is very relevant. My totally second point what's is your very relevant. Point? Mantis, what's your second point? Go ahead. My second point is relevant because what's happened is because the initial incident, like the pulling up of the Instagram and turning it, them, them turning it into sexual harassment, that's the real problem. Yeah, hence, is that right? We, you know, the, the the reason someone calls someone like a creep or a freak about this stuff is because they're behaving in a way that violates some perceived social norm, right? And the, the the more you blow through that, the more of a creep you look like. And Tom has just been absolutely just, yeah, he's he's going nuclear on it. But people are avoiding that problem, and because of these comments in the chat that people have taken out of context and not and turned into realistic threats or something. They are now, what's happened is Stalk has made the argument based on that, that he is therefore a sex pest, and everyone has just gone running with that and saying that Kelly has made that argument. Stalk has Nobody given Kelly an argument that she never had. It was a threat. Just very awkward. Stalk has given Kelly an argument she never had, and it's turned into something else, and everyone has pounced on it because they're just pathetic, in my opinion, like Zonya and Rezzy. They all decided to take that and not yeah, see where it actually began friends. and why it happened. And everyone's doing yeah, it. it. Wick, you almost just started doing it as well. It's well, kind of I, well, I'm, I'm going to be real. I'm just, yeah, look, I'm just trying to figure out what happened. And it looks bad. You understand that just from, from someone from the outside looking at those comments, looking yeah, at the a lot of things look looks bad. Really you bad. looked bad the last week. And I defended Can you I because I, I do appreciate the defense. Defense. Wrong. Right. For a... <laughs> Oh man, Wick always looks bad. Wick looks bad right now. Wick looks fucking terrible, in fact. Horrifying, I would say. But I don't know, like, I, 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 I'm I, just calling, I'm calling yeah, but, strikes but, here. But can I'm everyone get some fucking brains here and not just look at things in a vacuum and see things in actual context? Well, if I'm you don't want to do you, that moving though. forward, then that's on I you. It's not on Tom to apologize. No, 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 no. That's why I'm bringing you on. Oh no, Wick is actually just trying to understand the situation. He's getting spurred out. Oh no, you're actually going to... Mance is actually making me feel bad for Wick here. Oh no. Why is she spurging at him so fucking hard? She needs to just take it easy.
Well, they'll feel bad. I don't give a fuck. You know, torture Wick as much as you want, but you know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. He isn't trying to fuck with the conversation here. He is actually just trying to figure out the situation because he clears out of the loop. <laughs> Oh man, I'm trying to adjust my camera before I come back on, but it's uh, it's a struggle. Context here. That's why I'm. I just want to ask on. you, Mantis, directly. I just want to ask Mantis directly, really quick, quick. Sorry. Just so when a woman says she's uncomfortable with you ogling her openly, the correct, the an okay response is to, as a joke, say you've always wanted my dick to that woman. It depends. That's, I want to be clear that it was not the response. The response is to her debating and that was response, whether or not I did something wrong. That was what I was responding okay, to. Okay, I've just received a DM. Someone's going to come on a little bit later who has a little bit more information about this. Um, maybe, right? They're, and they're I, maybe. can I just be, can I clarify yeah. my it depends? Yes, you could clarify your it depends. Go ahead. I'm going to take oh, this specific situation instead of extrapolating it into like a chick walking around in real life in public on a beach or in a supermarket. All right, we're just going to get realistic here, down to earth, grounded. So in this oh situation, what happened? Women was cannot engage Holly with Jean analogies or hypotheticals. A stupid, weird and creepy comment. Mantis, I don't even think how would you feel really if you didn't have breakfast much, this morning? But these guys made it into something really, really bad. You're cute. You're making allegations about someone. Okay. So that's why, in this situation, one can assume that Kelly Jean didn't really care. She was just being inflamed, flamed up or whatever by these guys. And yeah, I think you can make a joke about someone who, who cared initially about just their own public self-objectifying content being put I don't, up. I don't think it was them who was flaming, <laughs> flaming her up. I think it was Tom's response that really flamed her up, no? So let me, yes, let me I kinda, think it's funny, I understand. and I don't believe Kelly Jean actually cares that much. Yeah, but let me let me walk you through kind of a, a, a situation if we're going to ground this in real life, right? If I'm if I'm grocery shopping, if I'm at Walmart, right, got my hoodie Jesus on, Christ, right, I, I got my one tooth, like, sticking out, ooh, I'm, I'm going through. This isn't the same oh, thing. No. I already know what you're going to say. Pushing the shopping the same cart. Thing. I see a woman in a Hello, machine. human resources. Hello, human, human resources. Right? Hello. Hello. Hey, you see a woman with police. Hey, you see a woman who you know has a lewd Instagram. Fair enough. Wait, right? how would you know that? Right? And then it I'm sorry. Okay, but, 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 oh, okay, just, fair enough. No, she's like maybe famous or something. Okay. She has a lewd Instagram. But that's why this there. doesn't map on. I this, start, that's why this doesn't map on. I start. I start obviously looking at her. I start obviously oogling her. Right? Obviously, right? I'm I'm being obvious about it. She says, "Hey, that makes me uncomfortable. Can you stop?" And then I tell her, "Yeah, you want my dick. I know you want my dick." I'm not, not going to stop. What do you think happens in that situation? Thing. Why? It's not, Why is it not, it's not the same thing, Wick, and you need to shut up. It's not the same thing. I just, I've listen, made it very okay. clear uh, why it's this, different. This is this is similar to like when uh, when a girl has like really tight pants that like go up into her butt crack and she's at the gym and some guy looks at her and then she goes and takes the video and posts it online and everybody acts like why are you like saying it's weird and creepy that a guy looks at you when like you th this is like kind of so point you're saying kelly this. was sexualizing herself in the content you're reviewing on stream uh the you're talking oh, about in the I fucking if Elder if Elder Draje here is going to defend Thomas Furory, I would like a full apology, a full fucking apology for this freak working up such a fucking shit fit about us pulling up his wife's OnlyFans on stream. I never want to hear another complaint about that again. He backs Tom. I want a full apology. Elder Drazi, I want a full apology. Elder Drazi, you cannot fucking cry about me bringing up your wife's OnlyFans. If you're going to say this is fine, dude. I got no obligation to you. I got no obligation to your wife. I don't give a fuck if you think I'm a creep. I'm not violating any fucking boundary that I have to give a fuck about. Unlike Thomas here, it's literally not as bad. It's obviously funny. Right? Wait, Kelly hold on. was not bringing the sexual context in. So you're saying it's okay. like the gym, but it's not like the gym because Kelly wasn't bringing the sexual context into that, that content. You were. Nobody which brought is, the sexual context in except for the chatters. Tom didn't do anything. Tom didn't okay, do well, anything. She listen, brought we'll the sexual the content in by putting it on her public we'll Instagram. Go back to the first argument, Wick. 
Tom created the culture of his stream doing this. He admits his stream has. Oh, this. okay. So now Who's we're changing the argument. The chatters asking for sexual content on the screen. I'm sorry. I don't uh, think yes. there's a problem. So, so, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to finish what I was saying. Yeah, so, please. Someone sent me his wife's BBW only fans right now. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. So, so yeah, so Tom, this girl's Tom, at the Tom gym. Excuse, but don't answer Tom the question. Yeah, don't Tom answer the question. Excuse, Tom gets priority. That's comedy. Right? That's comedy. Tom, That's ahead. satire. Don't actually do that. Away. So, we'll so be waiting. they post, they post the, uh, the, the video and they're like stigmatizing like the male gaze and that it's like weird for men to look at women and all of this shit and they call it weird and creepy which i think is wrong i think it's wrong to like act like tom men, went to jail uh, for uh, rico charges racketeering appreciating women or or like looking at obviously sexual content in a sexual way is that this is somehow wrong of us to do I, I, just as I think it's wrong of people to stigmatize the woman for posting it in the first place. I think that's wrong. Oh. So initially, where she calls it weird and creepy, I think I think this is kind of messed up to say on a public platform, one. I think it's a little bit more messed up to say oh. it with a guy who's continuously called me a sex pest, tried to get other women to accuse me of sexually harassing them and bringing okay, them on. I hope Tom keeps his fucking standard then, because Stardust called me weird for reviewing her fucking actual stream content. Keep this fucking standard, Tom. Keep as fucking standard. So Stardust can say say I'm weird, but I would accuse her of being dishonest in an attempt to silence people being critical of shit she said. That would be my argument, is that it's it's dishonest and I have reason to believe it's dishonest because I don't think she actually believes that to be weird. <clears throat> in this case, what's your argument here? What's the argument for being dishonest? I mean you could argue she's trying to pan this to J Stalk. You can make that argument if you want, but you're not making that argument at all you're not saying that at all so i'm trying to get them to give him allegations and then just three. real quick sorry oh, sorry yeah, before yeah, you continue, just... that is she, she you're saying that there okay fair look you can try and make that argument but make that argument say that you don't believe kelly when she says that her feeling that, that she feels that way about it. say you don't believe her argue that argue the reasons you don't believe her just can you, can you expand that and just tell me which no. instance that was? Uh, uh Where and I then three. Someone? Are you talking about laugh? Uh, it's in the in, it's the, in the middle of Kelly and other people debating uh, a Mantis on whether or not I did something wrong. They are debating whether or not I did something wrong as I'm in the chat saying these things. So that is it, when they keep saying like, oh, there was nothing moral. Nobody said anything moral. That is what was happening. And they're just coping about it. Okay. Now, yes, yes. Lav, he brought Lav on and asked her if I was like sending, uh, if I was inappropriate with her in DMs, even though he had already like kind of called me a sex pest for like a month at this point. Yes. Then he brings her on and asks her if I was, uh, if I was like being inappropriate with her and if I was like, uh, you know, uh, like sex pesting her. So, uh, I want to appeal to that being $20. a joke. Can I no, do that? None of you going to interrupt my money. $20 from Lawson Harrison sure. to say, are there cases of people such as okay, Jeremy here. or Jenna Jamison that we might what was he saying? have a somewhat permanent sexualized persona? Um, I, I guess, but I don't know even then, right? I, I think that if they ask you to stop and then you make jokes and, and things like that, I, I don't know, right? Like I said, I wasn't there. Maybe it was very obvious joking the context and with the thing. But I it don't was. know. Um, I want to give... is, but you're just buying the bad faith narrative. Well, I, I don't know. I, I'm not buying a narrative. I'm trying to figure this out. Now, I will say... Everyone who disagrees based on an analysis of the facts is actually buying into a bad faith narrative. It's impossible to have a different perspective on this, actually. There's never... No two people have ever disagreed about the, about the, uh, the weirdness of a social interaction. No two people have ever disagreed. It's always incontrovertible fact that is immediately obvious to all parties involved. No one's ever disagreed on that. There's never been honest disagreement between parties. Say to gesticles, right? The fact that you have consistently called him a sex pest, consistently been kind of down on him for being this uh, creepy and weird. I don't know if I can like... I, I think that colors it a little bit, but I want to hear from some other people. I want to get uh, Drazi and Brittany Simon in could, on this. Oh, can I just oh. really quickly point out why Tom's Please. previous hypothetical was bad in the gym? Yes. Sure. So it was basically that the difference here is Kelly asked him to stop. The gym girl, she never says anything. She just posts it for clout, right? She just posts the guy staring for clout? Yes. Kelly asked him to stop first. She was like, hey. No, Kelly didn't out. ask me to oh, stop. Sorry. No, sorry. He's going to claim that her saying she was creeped out was not asking him to stop. 
So she, yes, she, well, she went on a public uh, platform. You're saying to one me, person when a girl says clout, she's the other one by me, that means stop doing don't, whatever you don't were do doing, that. please. No, just, but that, maybe not to Tom. She was. She went on a public platform. How autistic do you have to be? Platform to say it. She didn't DM me. She didn't say, "Hey, Tom, can you, can not, you not do this anymore?" Not she was Shut on a up, public goofy. platform, just like the person posting it on TikTok. So don't act like it's different. It's not fucking different. They're both. You've done that twice now. You're getting timed out. You're getting Hold timed on. out. You said that you've done that twice. Because of the public platform just, thing. You agree me, they are not just different, tell me that right? saying she's creeped out is yeah, not asking you to stop. Can we get that's cameras up? Saying she's creeped out is not asking you to stop. Cam up. I've been trying to get my Cam up. God, I hate this queer. You guys say okay, camera's up. I'm unable to get it up. Never. There's crazy people in this space. Why would you ever do it? Turn it off. Turn it off, Drazi. I want to hear what... Drazi, turn your camera off. have to say. Ugh. Well, first Where of do all, you do you guys know about this situation? Drazi, yeah. we're in your first, so go ahead. Yeah, Drazi, okay. go ahead. So, one, if you've ever listened to Tom talk, it's pretty obvious that he likes to say hyperbolic stuff. That he, Or you say, hey, uh, it's totally inappropriate. Are we back? Uh, bingus, bingus, bingus. I fucking hate this internet issue. I'm going to fix this, okay? This is priority numero uno. We're back. Uh, say sexual things about them like somebody said ron jeremy or jenna jameson like is it does everybody have to pretend like the uh, that ev their entire persona isn't being gonna sexual make it clear it seems once pretty again i'm sorry Josh, i just have to make it really clear once again okay, everybody's so going to try to make this up. about the instagram profile viewing and not about it's not an issue with it that it's just my that, it about the comments, oh, that is what mantis, all of you guys are going to make it about the instagram no mantis profile. was debating her on whether or not i'm just saying i'm just pointing out that you're all Oh, I think what's... I'm not sure. Is your network card discount your own stuff? I'm not sure. I, I think it's... I wonder what it is. I do wonder what it is. I don't know what the actual issue, issue is. But I think I've just got to try different things. I've got a couple of different ways of connecting to a router. Okay. <clears throat> no, I don't unplug it and replug it. No, I'm on a power line adapter. That's what I'm using right now. It sounds like, well, it's not my network card. That's just the OBS disconnect and reconnect sound. So, guys, listen. Don't try and interpret from the Windows noise, please. Because that's just, that's just the OBS sound. Pivoting away from the actual problem. Yeah, so what I'm saying is, you could have pulled up... Yeah, power line adapter. Like, it's uh, an Ethernet thing you plug into the outlet. Would like Twitter be okay? Because I haven't seen the Instagram, yeah. but the Twitter... I, I, the I do person? have to yeah, agree with... Pulling up the Twitter I and the Instagram, we're Stop. both okay. I do have to I do have to agree with Jess Dickles here. I don't care about the Instagram. I want... I, I think the issue here is the comments, and that's the okay. issue that I have. Okay, just real but quick. this isn't an OBS issue. It's not an OBS issue. It's because my, my actual... My internet goes out. It says I disconnect from the chat as well, in YouTube chat. Okay, so the problem is, is that, like... When we say, oh, she just didn't have a problem with pulling up the Instagram, she just said that it was weird and creepy, and then Tom starts making these comments, that's just incorrect. And it's taking what happened out of context. She is literally in the middle of debating Mantis on whether or not it was okay for me to pull it up and whether or not it's ever okay to ever objectify women at all. That is what was happening at the time. So when I'm saying these things, they are already debating these things. So they're like, the, to keep making it sound like that's not what was happening, that is what was happening. Yeah, it just is. Jay Stock is pivoting 100% to get everyone to change it because he knows that the original discussion that was underway is foundless. There's no foundation. Fair enough. So the he has to change it to the other was. argument and he's convinced you, Wick, and you need to fucking figure that out real quick. I what? <laughs> You need to figure that out real quick. <laughs> Why is man just coming off so bad? This comes off so fucking bad. It comes off so bad. It's real literally quick. quick. I, just I pulling do it out because they're going to keep trying to go to the Instagram profile. I already conceded the other argument. I said there's nothing that bad about pulling up an Instagram profile on stream. Morally, yeah. I think it's so... Hold on. Just for me personally, in my bubble, if I'm going to use Britney's parlance here, uh, in my bubble, it's weird Cringe. sex freak behavior to consistently goon over women for 30 seconds while speaking at a That's time on true. screen. 
That's all fucking super weird to me. I think it's Destiny's, disgusting. Destiny I think he's does it all the time. In your bubble, it's freak. a norm. But you sound I, like I, an incel. You sound like a fucking incel. Yeah, One of the never, time. I've never ever once made fun of Destiny for his sexual uh, proclivities. No, you I've said never that, once done that. You true. said in your Very bubble, true. it's weird mm. sex freak behavior. That's what you said. Mm. In your bubble, that's just it incorrect. In you your sound bubble, like an incel. Elegant does it. Destiny Stop does it. Stop stealing Britney's lines. What? When does Destiny do that? If, if I saw and he's called a weird sex freak as well. You, uh, go after Tom. I he's called a weird sex freak. They all call him a degenerate sex freak. Kuma. They all say that. What? It's weird and creepy. But I mean, it's fine. You could do that. Am I actually not complaining about it? Or am I just sort of like trying to bitch about it and then... I feel like you're asking like me to giga stop chat. doing it. I, I, feel, I feel like uh, if that's me trying to giga chat, acting I'm like not. I don't care while also getting to bitch about it at the same time. I'm not talking like to Alan about this, just to you be clear. Right? To stop doing it. I think yeah, that I'm Tom was fine. I think you said some crazy shit that was super bad optically afterwards, but people were fucking coming after you. That's what you're going to do. You're going to get heated. You're going to say dumb shit. But everything that you did, I think you're fine. Um, and everybody's just mad, Look, and I don't I have get no it problem with this. I have no at problem all. at all. If you I, just, I like, agree. I'm if, just, just pointing stop, out I've conceded that already. Stop. Yeah, I have no. Okay. I want to make sure. I want to make it. Guys, his son is in the room. I look over and it's his fucking dog. Okay, I have dude. no issue with this if Tom apologizes to Kelly directly. That then I'm good. Okay, you I, messed up. Just to you be clear, I it's have cool. said like yes. <laughs> I my, that my intent was not to make her feel uncomfortable, and that's not what I wanted from it. If the if the joke like uh like came off that way, that was not my intent. I felt like as I'm saying it in what's happening that like that it made sense, and so it just was not my intent whatsoever, and it didn't mean, mean to make what her was feel the that way. And also, people keep saying I'm mad at her. I'm not mad at her. I was mad in the conversation about what so was happening no about well like towards, pivoting uh, and shit like that. Right no, now? I have no. And no, and I even think nothing? that she's handled this pretty well because, okay. like, people there there have been like other people saying like, no, this is sexual harassment. That he did sexual he, sexually harass you, and she's like, well, I'm not. I'm not saying that. Or no, he is a sex pest, right? He did sex pest you. She's like, I'm not. I'm not saying that. I I think that's too far. I think she's handled this fine. I have no problems with uh with Kelly Jean at all. Hey, Wait, I'm just trying to get in here. I, if I could, can I just I give you a stop, constructive stop, stop, yeah, yeah, get, oh, Hold on. GSTLK. Then we're gonna then we're gonna go to Drazi. Then we're gonna go to Brittany because Brittany hasn't said anything I, yet. So blocking Tom's. I just want to ask Drazi the only. question that I've been asking everybody. Please, so Drazi, if you're if you're making okay. um if you're kind of ogling a woman or you're uh, sexualizing her in some way and she asks you to stop, do you do you think you can still? Why is this Tom freak always saying he's about to cry? I'm not sure. I've heard people say it's like opiate voice. I'm not, I don't know what. I know he's obviously used to be a heroin addict. I've heard people say that. I don't really know what that means. I've not known a lot of people who do a lot of opiates, so I don't really know. Continue to make sexual comments towards her. Do you think that is okay? Well, if I'm at a like, strip club and she's on the stage, yeah. Dick. Every For sure. But most it, drop. He's got like an expensive mic here, hasn't he? Why is his audio so fucking terrible? Places no. So it just okay. depends on the context. And where I we're agree at. that it depends on the context. Do you think the internet is an open context for everybody? Like, we, sorry, that anything that's on the internet you can pull up in any other place on the internet? Uh, no, not anything and anything. Like, you're being way too okay. broad to where nobody could possibly sure. agree with you. This is like sure. bad faith. Yeah, so, exactly. So, oh, sure. I that might be bad faith. Do you think it's okay to say to a streamer that, hey, I feel really uncomfortable when you bring up my sexualized content on your stream? And do you think after that it's okay for that streamer? To say, hey, I knew you always wanted my dick. Yeah, if they're joking, uh, it Rita, depends, I'm not. I'm not sure what the play is. I feel like the best way to do it is to have a hard hitting explanation of what it is and why it's so bad, and then go go try and you know be prepared to to full blast that publicly. Small F. Are we back already? Depends on the nature of the relationship between you, the two people. You think people it's okay how when obvious a sincere it is that they're joking. comment is meant? So a sincere comment is made, you're making me uncomfortable. You think it's okay to joke to them saying, I knew you always wanted my cock. I... They're not friends. They're not close. So I think that that's not necessarily the best thing I to think... say. But I also think that this has all been super crazy. And I don't know what part of the timeline that happened. And I think Tom said some dumb stuff. But I think that everything that he did is fine. I think that he kind of asked for some stuff. Yeah, the thing I that I wanted you. to say, Tom, I wanted to give you constructive criticism. You said, um, "I'm I'm sorry that she felt that way." If all you got to do is say, "Like I'm sorry if I made you feel uncomfortable," that wasn't my intent. That's good. Saying "I'm sorry you feel uncomfortable" is a dog shit shitty thing to say. But they, they're like, like two words yet, apart. By, by they're the just way. like two words apart.
Um, because when somebody oh, just that's just to appreciate that Elder Drazi is just like the absolute last person you would take any advice or any, you know, it, literally you it'd take anything from. You wouldn't take anything from Elder Drazi. I wouldn't even take magic cards from this guy, and it's job to fucking sell them. Frankly, you know, uh, you you should never. There is nothing of value that Elder Drazi can offer. Certainly not advice on sex and relationships. This is a uh, this is a a a rotund aging. Uh, disgusting freak who lives in a shithole that he does not clean um, with with an with a gross wife and a, and a polycule. Uh, I would not personally, me me personally, I would not want to live this life. So I would not take I would not take any advice from Aldrazi for fear of ending up in any way similar to him. In fact, I think I'm going to just take the opposite of everything he says. He says, I'm sorry that you feel that way to me. I'm the least violent person. I want to punch you in the fucking face when you say that to me. That is so disrespectful to me. I hate that so much. Okay. Um, I want to give, I'm sure uh, you would punch someone in the face, face Elder Drazi. She's been sitting here. Very violent fella. Brittany, what are your thoughts on this? Um, well, I know you guys know I've been watching it. So I will say that I, I'm going to be real. I think this might be like orchestrated drama i don't believe any of you mm -hmm. tom i believe you but i don't believe anyone else because the goalposts keep moving and then you guys keep changing the rules about what's offensive and i know kelly jean from stream she's one of the most ruthless meanest bitches in the internet sphere she goes for women's throats and tells them if they're not strong enough to be in the space they can fuck off but then when she has to handle Thanks. it she plays victim so my whole thing is like i think it's fake i think she's obviously like this is for views, right? Are we just like making money right now? Because I have ads on right now. I'm making money. Uh, you guys making was money? Was totally for views when we were just nailed it. Tom going over the Instagram. Oh, and so we'll always have views, dropping views. It was all okay. like fun. And then Tom made the comments all he right. did, which were super we'll try and figure something else out. He was just asking him to not creep on them. I was going to talk about well, audio really capture funny. today, but then uh, a fake Tom came in and baited me into DMing real Tom. Uh, to get him on, and now we're here. Even the fake so, me's are based, dude. Yeah, uh, fake me showed up. You you showed up on my stream today, Tom. I thought it was you. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I don't think that's true though. Like that was so that uh, like how do these people not realize how? Just like ah, uh, dude, I know what I get. What women mean by it gives them the ick. Do you know what you mean? You know what I'm saying? Well, I, that's how I feel when Tom says something like, "Oh, even the fake me's are based." Sorry, it's not even what he, that's not how he says it because the way way he says it is like gross as well. Come on, and now we're here. here. Even the fake so... me's are based, dude. It sends a shiver down your spine, doesn't it? It's like so. Like you understand why Kelly Jean's creeped out by this guy. You just wouldn't want to be around him. He's just not a sort of person you'd want to be. Like, this is like. Uh, let's, let's hear it one more time. A fake Tom came in and baited me into I just can't get over how gross Tom, this is. Uh, to get him on, and now we're here. Even the fake so, me's are based, dude. Uh, fake me showed up. Even the fake me's are based, dude. Oh. Oh. That's rough. You, you showed up on my stream today, Tom. I thought it was you. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't that's think that's true though. Like, cool. see, I that's just cool. watched like hours and hours of this on off stream and on stream, and like, I just don't think that's really true. Because like Kelly said, we just watched it before I came on here, that she wanted Tom to show a different part of her work because she didn't want people to think she was just an Instagram model. So we went to her Twitter, we went to her Instagram. Like, either you got to get rid of that stuff for your brand, or you got to accept it, girl. You're sexy. You're she's beautiful. Like Kelly is gorgeous. And she's using that to make money, and I'm here for it as a sex-positive feminist, if you want to call me that. <laughs> I love that shit. But it is a part of your brand. So if you want to be seen sure. as something else, you better stop the industry yeah, altogether. Hold on, because, like, Brittany. Hold on, Brittany. Yeah, 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 I'll get you. I'll, I'll let you respond to it. But, but my initial yeah. thought is, like, again, I don't I don't care if, if she's looking at her Instagram. I care about sure. the responses, right? Like, and I don't well, – I don't know. if Even if I think someone is disingenuous when they tell yeah. me to stop, like – that they don't really mean it or whatever, I'm still gonna stop just as just as me, right? Like even if I think that it's it's kind of fake or they're just doing it to stir shit, mm -hmm. I'd be like, "You're such okay, a nice guy, I'll stop. You're such a what nice guy. Weird. Women should not feel women do not feel threatened around me. Women feel safe, feel comfortable. Let your guard down around me. I, I'm safe. That's what's being said here. 
would. <laughs> Fair enough. But I weird. Would. If you if you think they're disingenuous, why would you not make a joke like that? Hey, Wick, I, I did send wait, you some screenshots wait. of Mantis. Uh, she was berating Tom for doing this exact thing to a different influencer a couple of months ago. So I sent you some screenshots well, of that. Well, context matters, right? You could do the pins. same no, action, we but the context doesn't matter. It. Like, it's not just anybody. It's Kelly Jean. And it's not just anybody, but it's like the context Wait, of the situation, hold on. right? I've can, DM'd Brittany, Kelly can I just Jean. Ask you Kelly really Jean wants to come I on. Just have to, I sent her the shit, too. I don't know if she will, but... Yeah, I'm just letting so, you know. Well, but can we again, not get, I, we not, like, get, get I to, to manufacture more drama, please? Like, just I, I haven't gotten a chance yeah, to, I need respond to respond to Brittany yet. Hold on. Stop. Stop. stop all of you. Hey! Stop. One at a time. I'm I'll decide also, the order. We're going to go to JSTLK, and then we're going to go to uh, Tom. And after the response really, to Brittany, we're going to let Tom have his say. Yeah, literally, this is the, the, the only good WIC panel I've seen in a long time, and I'm, and I'm still raping his viewership. Just That's really quickly, that. this is totally up to you, WIC, but... um. Just, I'm probably gonna have to speak a little bit more because I think I'm responding to a lot of these people. I feel like that's probably fair. I might, I might end up with a. You seem to be the, later. you seem to be the most anti-Tom here. Yeah, so yeah. that's fair for now. We sure. do have a guest that may be coming on soon that can add some more clarity to okay. the situation. But when they get here, that's an amazing point, Stylo. We, we, we have. I'm very impressed, guys. We're around 170 people here right now. I'm very impressed. I'm glad you've all shown up. The only problem is, of course, that with 170 people comes a large disparity between the number of people watching and the number of people who've pressed the like button. So we've got about 70 likes, but 170, which means there's, a, there's like 100 people that haven't done it. It's a little bit fucked up. It's a little bit fucked up. I wish you would just do that. So if we could, so people could just step up, people could just do that, that'd be amazing. Yeah, they're still debating no. it amongst themselves. But anyway, uh, yeah, yeah. go ahead. I just wanted to thank you. I was seeing some come in now. I'm seeing some come in. That's great, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Keep it up. Keep it up. Because Kelly is mean, when she says, hey, you're creeping me out, she still deserves to be sexualized. I realize I'm morally loading that, but. No. Yeah, that's the problem. You're rephrasing it. So, within the context of who the consciousness Kelly Jean is on the internet, she set a precedent for how people could treat her and how she treated other people. And then in this situation, 84 now. 84. I'm saying it's big. It's huge. About her Instagram, which she took offense to. He made a joke because she took offense to it. Then she insinuated as if she wants him to stop, but never gave clarifying like reasons why. And so it sounded like they were having a rapport, like a back and forth. Like he was making a joke. She was. How does Queeman look exactly like he sounds? Donate your body to science so we can put our top men on this phenomena. What? I, I sound smug and I look smug. Is that what's uh, being said there? Sound like a Jew, look like a... Bonding. You guys were making allegations. So it feels like with the context that there wasn't an authentic no, there wasn't a stop, there was a Tom's a freak or a pest or whatever, so then Tom gets to respond, right? So it's that kind of thing. It's the context. So yeah, she so, said she was creeped out. She thought it was weird. And you're saying that that's not her asking him to stop. Right. I agree. Yeah, I am saying that. Okay. What? Um, Wait, that's kind of what you're saying. Do you have that autism? You said that I'm she saying said I don't she read people's care. minds. Yeah, people like they have to read. I don't read no, minds. She thought like, it was explicit? weird and creepy. But yes. that she did. I don't seriously believe what I do not believe anyone actually interacts like this. No, she doesn't genuinely think that. She's just sticking up. It's got to be just sticking up for Tom. That is the only thing that's happening here. Didn't Here's the thing. Is it's, it's a sexual... Cre creepy means the, the person's making you feel uncomfortable, usually in a sexual way. So if you're making someone uncomfortable, that you... <laughs> unless you really fucking hate that person, you're trying to make them feel uncomfortable, you would generally stop. There's at least... If you're in sort of like that sort of edge of friendship position with someone and you want to make sure you remain on their good side, you would just stop. That's what you would do. Like in Tom's position, any normal person would simply stop. And the fact he doesn't stop, the fact he defends it, the fact he goes on debates is, is like so anti-social. It's so weird to everyone. It's like, how do these people not get this? I, I just don't understand what the disconnect is. I'm really honestly struggling to understand how these people are so fucking autistic. Sexual joke? You don't think the sexual element changes it at all? No. Wait, okay, I mean, it so changes the why, context. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Really. You're saying I should why, why? I just have to ask, why did you get so angry at Destiny when he said that he'd rather have his no or rather get raped than have his nose broken if the sexual context doesn't change anything? That, that wasn't, wasn't a joke. joke. Sure. Why are you bringing up Destiny shit, Jay Stalk? Come on. 
Dude, J Jay Stalk needs a fucking slap in. Holy shit. Do not, do not bring up Destiny dunks. Come on now. Do you think Kelly took anything here as a joke? Lame. Can we what? objectively know what a joke is? Was very, it was a joke. Was a joke. No, very clear. You just took a very serious conversation. You don't, you don't, wait, wait, wait. You don't think Destiny was kind of saying that half-cocked in his own head in a funny no, little way? Abba hey, came no, I'd rather, I'd kind of rather Abba came on to confirm with him. No, fuck you. Abba oh, he's came never, on to he's never dug on a, oh, he's it was never not a joke, a joke before to try Hold to make on. a point. Hold on. Hold on. Let Brittany respond. This is why I think he's fake. He's a weasel. This is why I think he's, that's why I think he's putting, making a fake drama wick. Abba came on to confirm yes. that was a real story from Steven that I didn't make it yeah, up. Yeah, you fumbled it. That's a J-Stool girl. Very serious Massive J-Stool girl. It is not a joke. That's why Abba and I were shocked. I, so I don't think Kelly on, thought it was on, a joke. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Brittany, if yeah. it comes out later, if Kelly says uh, later, if she responds to this at all, and she says that, no, I wasn't joking, this isn't fake, this is how I feel, would your answer change here? Um, only if, so my answer would change that if Tom wants to create a connection with Kelly and respect her friendship with them, then of course that he would see her feelings were hurt and care about those feelings. Conversation. No, it's you contextual. You can do whatever you, you, you don't, you do don't like you context. Want and, no, you can do whatever you want. If it's like appropriate in your context, sure, it's contextual, but it's all subjective. So well, I, just, I believe in diversity, so. <laughs> what about your context? You've been coming after Tom, so everything that Tom says is going to be filtered through the most bad faith way possible. Like, you can't, Danny, you can't you can come back tomorrow. go after him over and over and go, hey, look, uh, it's obviously this way when I it actually is. I can literally subjective. show you a clip of me reading one of his, the objectification thing, and I gave the most good faith interpretation of it. I said, I think what he's saying here, and it was really stupid to write it the way he did, but I think what he's saying is that for a cosplayer or Instagram model, their content is for objectification. It's the content's purpose. So I've given a lot of really good faith. I've given a lot of really joke. good. No, it's not. It he's, wasn't. He's it wasn't. A the joke. Content, I was saying it, it was wasn't it content. The content is for. I, no, I was but saying. I gave the that good faith representation. I'm not no, trying to kill Tom as badly as you guys think I am. I was saying her internet personality. Kelly Jean is not like I assume not her real name. Tom Foolery is not my real name. Tom Foolery exists for debate and like content. Kelly You're Jean, the the personality exists for uh, objectification. Uh, I do have some more information. Can I just can I can I just make That's one point? No, he, he, he did say he was going to go to J yeah. It's like, not Turkey Tom. It's not Turkey Tom. It's it's Tom Foolery. Okay, Tom Foolery here. This this bald fella. <clears throat> Me We're going to go to Tom next. They've been Tom going is back next, but so let me share this information that it was just DM'd. I don't know if this information is true, but it was DM'd for me, who's someone who says he's there at the time. Um, hey, Wick, sorry, Eating I can't Tom jump Fullery. on. With true. My kids, but I think it's important you know that this was a meme until Mantis came on and to told everyone about yeah. Coom Time and described it as Tom pulling things up like this up for the purpose of allowing his viewers the ability to coom over the content. That is when JSTLK started taking this Thanks. seriously. And Kelly really got creeped out. So if that's some additional context for the viewers at home. I mean, that's know. true. I think Tom, right. you're up. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. So they the they were already saying it was weird and it was creepy. Talking about me being a sex pest. Talking about it being sexual harassment. For like, I think that happened an hour before Mantis even jumped on. Then when Mantis jumped on, she was jumping on, arguing with them over whether or not it was wrong for me to pull it up and whether or not it is always wrong to objectify people. So when we keep saying, nobody's saying that there's this, like, uh, that something bad happened or they did anything wrong, we're just talking about feelings. That is not what the conversation with Mantis was about. And you can go listen to Kelly Jean where she is arguing that I should have known not to pull this up and that I shouldn't have uh, thought this was an okay thing to do. That That is the arguments that are being... Oh, yo, 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 guys, guys, great news. Mr. Girl just retweeted my tweet that was like, anyone know Progressive Victory sponsored this and had the, uh... <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> that's the star, that's clear, Polo. <laughs> Young, black, and frustrated. Look, bruh, I get it. But I got some advice for you, homie, so check it. Don't vote. Nah, oh, that's man. old people shit. <laughs> that's white people shit. If you want some life improvement, don't... He refollowed me on Twitter as well. He unfollowed me for a bit, and now he's back. Drink the Kool-Aid, just drink some Kool-Aid Stay home on Tuesday, ooh, play some 2K, K Cause they don't respect your color or skin yet 
Plus I heard you have to take the swim test And they put you on a government list And if you fill out the bubbles wrong Handcuffs on your wrist So don't get out of line Just get out of line But don't run out of line Before I run out of lines Bunch of old white gay dudes With small dicks Fuck that Fuck politics And fuck college I'm saying sayonara Cause this shit is just boring Let's drink some fire water Like Elizabeth Warren Cause cats rule Dogs drool And voting ain't cool Plus, I think that you should drop out of school and buy a gun. And if you're too young, I sell you one. But the main thing is, don't vote, son. Cause cats rule, dogs drool, and voting ain't cool. Plus, I think that you should drop out of school and buy- They killed him. They killed him. Destiny killed him. Destiny had this man killed. And they celebrate it. They piss on his grave. Buy a gun. And if you're too young, I sell you one. But the main thing is, don't vote, son. Remember everybody, the election is on November 10th, 2021. Yes problem, yes problem. Yo, yo, don't vote. They are gonna make you swim across a moat. Yo, yo check this out, yo, yo. If you vote bro, your friends will never accept you. Cause everybody's out playing basketball except you. I thought that was a soul thing. It is good. Oh, man. Had. And then when I jump on, those are the arguments that are being had with me as well. But it's all rephrased afterwards, too. She was just talking about her feelings. When you say something, you say a behavior is weird and creepy, you are like, uh, you're not just giving your feelings, but you are characterizing what it is that the person is doing. So to say, oh, well, it's just a feeling. That's all it is. No, you are giving like an exact type of behavior that you think applies to what it is the other person is doing. And that can come with a lot of moral judgment, especially if afterwards you're saying they should have known better not to do this. Yes, this is a moral judgment. And that is what the argument was. And they keep trying to make it sound like it was just about feelings. Yeah. That's all that was being said. And it's just Do you incorrect. think this is many? Manufactured drama and Tom? Yeah. Intellectualizing like, a response, said this is like an emotional response. Do you think this is manufactured, I... Tom? What is manufactured drama? What does manufactured drama? All drama is manufactured. I don't understand what this means. What does this mean? I, I manufactured. I don't know in what sense. When I say like, an okay, yeah, Tom's having the same issue with this is part of the context is that okay. JSTLK. JSTLK is well, I'm pulling Not up true. Instagram models as I always do and have for years. So I like manufacturing it in that way. Sure. It, um, JSTLK, the person who has been calling me a sex pest for a while and trying to get people to make sexual harassment allegations against me, pulls up the freaking uh, video of me looking at her Instagram on his Kelly, stream be here in a and gets her to comment oh, and gets her to comment on it. Okay. In that case, like, yes, he is trying to, like, uh, you know, get drama out of it, get her reaction out of it. Yes. So, like, in that case, I don't think Kelly was you giving, like, an inauthentic reaction stuff. or anything. Yeah. She's going to be here in a I, second. I she will be able to ask her Let's go. whether she, this was a, a Queen Carrie. Let's go. Carrie Chi. Oh, Carrie Chi. I think that's, oh, think that's oh. uh, what we're going to do. So, she, she just DNA'd. Yes, just be clear. I don't think she's being uh inauthentic or anything like the that. asian accent's got to right. stop i, I think it's, it's a bit much um i have a question that i think is now really, i'm on camera as well i i assume jstlk would know how does kelly make money off of her content just out of curiosity and then i have a follow-up uh memberships i assume <clears throat> to I, you i mean i would just save this for kelly oh joshua moon voice what joshua moon voice i even watch matty what I didn't hear you I say that. Yeah, okay, I, I just, before so she I gets here, I just want to jump in because I'll jump out of the call. Okay. No. Um, yeah, I up. just want to point out that this feeling. I'm not ripping Josh Moon been, off. Like, heavily drilled down upon by Jay Stork. The racist Asian Josh Moon, does he do that as well? Bro, that's just, it's just a racist Asian accent. There are people I rip off way more than I would ever rip off Josh Moon. Jesus. I don't watch fucking Mad at the internet. What? about like you should care about when a, when someone says they don't want something done. I just want to make it clear that JSTOK doesn't actually care about feelings. Lenko it's very clear he live. was upsetting oh, Tom for months and months by calling him a sex pest. And when Tom said he didn't like it, he didn't give a fuck. So the feelings argument, JSTOK, you can stop using that one.
yeah, I'm a bad person. F? Yes, no, you, you just don't really? actually you care as much as you say you do. My I care about it, people I like, yeah, just like everybody else in the world, oh. right? We care about the people oh. we like. Okay, so I don't, so I don't have to care about Kelly then, right? Because I don't really like it. No, you much. don't. But when you sexualize her, actually, st after she's asked you to stop, you have to no. Deal with the it's when it's a woman. No, you can't. You, you can't use this anymore. I'm afraid you can't use this anymore. A weird degenerate. No, I'm afraid you can't use this anymore. So we're just going to keep calling both of you this. I'm afraid you can't use this anymore. And also. Mantis, we didn't really bring you, you, up. You don't have morals. But when this happened to Sarah, you made fun of Tom for ogling her on stream. You specifically said, uh, we were supposed to be evaluating her words, but you're evaluating her body. No, that's no, what you said about Seven. So you were it. clearly you're very upset with me, and that's completely changed Do, how you Can I tell you something that's funny situation. about Seven? Mantis reeks of BPD. Can I tell you something that's funny about sure, Seven? Go for if it. I went on I went on Wick. No, no, just one one more thing before Kelly talks and then I'll get off. Unless she wants to say something. Um I I actually went on to Wix panel and made a troll sort of meme situation out of that list thing. And Seven thought it was hilarious and reached out and wanted to join in. So we've, we've already talked about that. You can just stop well, her with that as well. Seven may be coming on later herself and she can tell us about yeah, it. Yeah, I think Seven, doesn't Seven kind of disagree with that? Didn't Seven say in Chud's chat earlier that made her reconsider going streams? Don't. Once. Definitely don't. Try it, to just we're not going to talk story. about Seven's story until yeah. Seven gets here. You don't have um, morals. Sure. Anyway. Um, uh, Kelly. Welcome. Hi. Uh, yo, what's up? I have not watched any of the streams today. I barely know what people are angry about, but it's, this is the fourth day of this. Uh, I, I, I'm truly skilled in making drama out of fucking nothing. Who are these freaks? This is Brittany Simons. She's a YouTuber who used to do sex and relationship advice content and has fallen off completely and supports herself with a Patreon money from a bunch of people that pay to be in like a weird little sex and live coaching service that essentially functions like a cult. Older Drowsy is some gross little fat freak who did a video once where he uh, spoke to a job interviewer on the phone while shirtless and complained about the fact that he couldn't find the entrance to the job interview and somehow that was the job interviewer's fault. Uh, and then he doxed a phone number when he posted the video. This is Tom Fullery. He's on trial for being a sex pest. Uh, this is Wick TV. He is a paid Democratic shill with one tooth and a uh, missing 3K from GoFundMe. This is Jay Stalk, Destiny's uh, Prime Cockwash and After Show host. This is uh, Kerry Cheen, the one woman who has not fucked Destiny in, in the DGD orbit. And this is uh, Mantis. This is Tom's Cockwash. I, uh, I'm Christ. not sure myself. I had a whole other plan today, but then someone uh, tricked me in getting Tom on here. And uh, now I'm trying to just figure out what Tom happened. So can you, in your own words, just kind of walk us through what happened, right? Uh, people were saying that Tom uh, made you uncomfortable on stream or something, or that he pulled up his, your Instagram or something. Can you just talk us through the grand the total? What happened, the grand total of what I said is this is kind of weird and a bit creepy, probably. I definitely said weird. That's it. There was no like me saying, ah, oh, like uh, a lot of the arguments were from other people. I wasn't making the objectification arguments just because no one would listen to them coming from I, me anyway. So it seemed like a waste of time. I in. didn't. No, no, no. Listen, there, there, it's not a distraction from PV. Okay, listen. Everything can happen at once. There are many cooks, many cooks, many pots, many pots boiling at the same time. Okay, we got. You know, many plates spinning, lots of stuff happening. <clears throat> when I stopped being a Destiny fan, the biggest put off for me from Destiny was when he backed off of the Keffels lawsuit because he said he was going to uh, get Keffels to backtrack everything and get retractions from journalists and basically fucking destroy her. And then he sent a C&D and she stopped talking about him for three weeks. And then went back to talking about him. He was like, well, she stopped talking about me. She stopped talking about me. And now he's made amends with her as well. But that uh, that that made me realize how much of a fucking cuckold. Not not in terms of his relationships. Like, that's one thing. Do your own relationship. Be a weird degenerate. But uh, a mental cuckold. A mental cuckold. Just absolutely letting his shit get totally fucked up. Letting everyone else's shit get totally fucked up. When he was in a position to stop it. Call him a pest, a sex pest. I didn't say I was, my feelings were hurt or I was offended. That never happened. Like, I give a fuck. I agree with Destiny on 90% of politics. I'm like, I'm a normal lib retard. Okay, that's me. All right. So I don't have any massive issues with Destiny talking politics takes. I'm, a, I'm CNN brained. Okay. 
Okay, so just to be clear, clear, you are not just to really so be clear. So I've gone away over a bunch yeah. of weird ass shit so that never actually happened. Kelly Jean, just okay. to be just to be a hundred percent clear, you have no problems with the comments that Tom was making. You have no problems with any of it. You're good. No, Those I mean, I said it was exactly. weird and kind of creepy, and the shit that Sorry. he said the day after was weird as fuck. But like, yeah, and I've it has, she's handled this really well, yeah, and I like I've appreciated it the way that she's talked about it, and I don't like hold anything against her. Like, I was upset in the debate over what it was that we were talking about, or like over the way that we were engaging. But I don't have anything against Kelly, and I think that she's been like really cool throughout this. So I like I she I don't think that she is like overblown this in any way or anything like that. Oh, Kelly, different than like when you were like screaming over the top of me the other day. Day, bro yes All right. i was upset in that in for like the pivoting and like the moving around yes can i ask you a question? I should drag her what did I think this Kelly, is did what think, i said did you think to tom was joking did you think tom was joking Which with the bit? comments in chat the whole like kelly wants my cock do you think that was a joke um if it's a joke it's not a very good joke uh i don't know so, like yeah. how where is the joke in yeah what's the punch it might line? not what's be that, serious it? point me to the setup and punchline please i guess it's from from my perspective, it was self deprecating. You're you're calling me creepy. You're saying what I did was weird. Like yeah, I, I oh, thought it was like I obvious. Americans not know what self deprecating. That's not self deprecate. Yeah, this is not what self deprecating here. That's not self deprecating. Anything means fucking. This Wait. lesson is something I have to teach you every fucking it day. Is... It makes me want to kill myself. Okay, so when I'm saying Thanks, this, man. when I say self deprecating, I'm saying I'm pointing out how obvious it is that you would not want my dick and that you are not interested in me or not attracted to me, that you are not even okay with me just looking at your Instagram. So I, you I know that you don't want to fuck me, so I'm pressing hard. I how can you complain about people calling you a sex pest? Sorry. Would find that creepy. That yes, I am. I am obviously taking that to a hyperbolic level to where it's just obvious that's not the case. I, I that is self-deprecating. You might have thought it was self-deprecating, but that's not a self-deprecating joke, bro. I don't know what to tell you. Well, can you? I, I don't I, mean to. So like, I guess bro, this, you if, tell me if why Kelly not. doesn't really have a problem, like if he, she thinks it's weird and creepy, she said it's weird and creepy. But she doesn't have a problem with it otherwise. Is that true, Kelly? You don't have a problem with it otherwise? It's just weird, creepy, and yeah? Um, what other problems do people think I have? I have no uh, fucking clue. JSTLK was, uh... Well, Does Seven just, get on later? Oh, I'm not sure she was on Jason. Did I ever yeah, describe sure. Kelly's behavior? Or how Jason she about it? is all using said, you to... No, hold on, I'm talking. Yeah. Okay. okay, so all I've said hey, is... Guys, we were having coffee in a second, somebody okay. and they say it's creepy, is it appropriate to continue making sexual comments towards them? In my opinion, no. I said nothing about how Kelly feels about it. I didn't rely on that at all to make the argument because it's really not about how Kelly feels because what happens the next time or the previous time with Seven, for example, where they do feel uncomfortable or they are feeling like really grossed out and they are personally changing their decisions and how they interact with the space based on those comments. So Kelly's, Kelly's interpretation of it is actually irrelevant to the argument we're having. So uh, you except, said she didn't really on, have a problem with it Tom until I made the comment. Apologize. That's sure. what you said. I mean, I said it was That's weird and creepy, sure, but I didn't like say, oh my god, this is such a detrimental issue, like, that I care that much about it. Obviously mm. not. But, like, that doesn't make other people's opinions and their thoughts on it to be um, irrelevant. Um, at the end of the day, I'm not going to sit here and make objectification arguments because people will just dismiss them because I do OF, right? So that means that apparently I have to be objectified 24-7 on platforms where it's not even relevant or normal to do so. Um, and I don't really want to fight against those kind of arguments because it's just like a waste of my time. I don't know. Yeah. If other people want to make those arguments, though, there's probably like quite a lot to them. How does it not matter how she feels? If I am at a party and I grab a woman's ass, and if she turns around and kisses me on the mouth, this I've done nothing wrong. Mr. It matters Girl how she feels about No, it's not. I'm saying that there is nothing just, I did is. wrong there. I, re I read things correctly. She turns around and kissed me on the mouth. If I walk up to a girl at a party and I grab her ass sure and she, she slaps me, her, and she turns okay around and slaps me, and everybody's like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah. Obviously and they start shitting on me. Guess what? Time. I've done something wrong now, and I have well, to accept I, it. I have just. I do want to clarify. I, I do want to clarify. Matters. So, I'm like, I, yes, I, exactly. So, like, I, I don't know if you've heard this, Kelly. I've said this over the last like two streams as well. Is like, I my intention was not to make you feel uncomfortable, and so for that, like, I I am uh, sorry. Like that was if not. That what was, I to do. If that wasn't your intention, you probably shouldn't have doubled down like a retard yeah. and said all those weird fucking things afterwards. Oh, I, I don't know why you did that. We were, 
we were because we that's not what we were arguing about. We were arguing about whether or not it was wrong for me to pull it up and whether or not I should have known better. And that was the conversation. So whether or not that's my intention and whether or not I think I did something wrong were completely two different things. But even if I don't think I did something wrong, I still that was not what I wanted to do. That's I've done it a million times, never had issues before. And then like this happened. So, yes, like I was, I, it was had not issues my intention, before, by the way. I, I, afterwards he's lying no. he knows he's no had issues i am before. not i've had issues we'll afterwards. give you a chance jazz no. tell okay i did not have issues until his, uh, afterwards his, his stance. let's let let's let kelly and, and tom go for a minute just to just to make sure so fair enough well tom. i mean that's that's pretty much it it's like yeah that just wasn't my intention and so like when i came on there my th understanding was you guys were like debating with mantis about what uh whether or not it was ever okay to objectify oh, somebody whether or not it's ever okay to pull up their uh stuff on stream like whether or not it was wrong for me to do that and so that's what i was commenting on when i jumped on i was jumping on mainly to talk to jstlk about calling me a sex pest again but you wanted to talk to me i ended up talking to you about what you guys were debating mantis on and then later at the end you were like oh this is just my feelings and i'm like I, wait, this isn't what we've been arguing about the whole time. So that's where, like, that's why I just left because I, I, I feel. Like I, I mean, uh, creepiness replaying. is a literal feeling of unease, right? So, like, it, if I say something is creepy, that's what I'm like referring to. I don't know what the fuck else I would be referring to, bro. Like, what do you mean? Well, so when you didn't just say I feel like this is creepy, you said that is creepy and weird. And so I think that you're characterizing my behavior, not just saying how you feel in that case. And so that's that was why I was taking it as creepy means that the behavior caused that feeling, causes that feeling. Is it creepy is is someone that causes something who's creepy is someone who causes a feeling of discomfort or unease, usually in a sexual way. It is literally defined by the feeling. That is the that's the point of the word. Not a feeling, but if it. I was mean, it can be both as well, but like I just. Which is why I'm just saying. Like, I can understand it being a feeling, and I'm not. Like, if I think that you're creepy, that. why do you care? Like that's just my opinion at the end of the day, right? Like I'm allowed to have that again, opinion, wasn't... like bro. <laughs> Yes, but I, I can have the opinion was, that you're incorrect. Like we debate opinions in this space. That's what we do all. all yeah, day, but you're day. you're saying it like I was assassinating your character, and then you doubled down and said a bunch of extra uh, what, weird can shit. Can I just see so if it's like, because of Jstalk's characterization? Like what? It's because he's been labeled a sex pest and sexual harasser, and that was used in that same context. So just because you, you feeling weird shit. and creepy about Tom Hang on, Jstalk, I'm not done. I'm not done, Jstalk. I'm not done, Jstalk. I don't know why Tom didn't because... just talk shit to me. Jstalk, I'm not done. I don't know why you didn't talk to you. I wonder why. Kelly you literally said, talk to me. Kelly you literally said, talk to me. He's using Kelly. We're going to go to Mantis. He's using Kelly. He's not using me. He wants to yell. I'm talking about the chat messages. Stop, stop, stop. We're going to let Mantis finish. We're going to go to Jay Stickle so he can respond. And then we're going to go to Brittany. And that's the order we're going to go in. Go ahead. Okay, so... You feeling weird and creepy is fine. Your feelings about the thing in and of themselves is, are fine. And yes, people can just go, oh, well, I don't care about that. The problem isn't that you thought it was weird and creepy. The problem is from the beginning, which is why I jumped on and why it all escalated is because it was being, you were saying that and then they were using your feelings against Tom as a sex pest and a sexual harasser. They were doing oh, I mean, so there's their opinions are their own. There's nothing wrong with their opinions. There weren't arguments I was making simply because, as I've already said, no one will fucking listen to me. You, you think it's fine arguments. to accuse people of sexual harassment and, and, and throw around the word sex pest and, and accuse I people of these kind of things? I think that Anna would know what sexual harassment is and saying she wants the my sex pest to be isn't an allegation of any specific act. Yeah. But yesterday she said that he's not, she wasn't sexually harassing after clarification from talking to Tom without Jay Stork being there. I mean, um, being well, there. I'm not making her argument. That. That's just what her argument was, right? If you want to know what just, it was, I, that's what it was. Yes, but, okay. but Kelly, that we did we did jump on. Hold on, I do want to make some money. Ten dollars from Game Jack here. Gamja Magic. Sorry, Gamja Magic for ten dollars. Wick asked Tom about the list, which is a list he made in Notepad, and then later in his Discord, altered it at times. Happened to all be women that he pulled up. It says something interesting at the bottom. What is that? I I will well, 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 give me just a second. Oh, I say, I, I, also, just Kelly, uh, 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 give me just a second. Let's not talk about the list just yet. 
hard move. I, oh, I, no. Kelly, but Mantis uh, and I both. No, I said I was going to go quiet. Ma the host when found did the that happen? Is this ended? Am we're I both just, saying that we wanted yeah, to talk to JCLK, and you did say, like, this is about me. Talk to me about this. I want to talk That's, about uh, this. And so yeah. we, we did end so up talking to you about it because you demanded it, but we were we yeah. saying, why didn't you just talk to them? That but was, that was that after was... you kept telling me, like, not everything is about you, already. Kelly. I think you said that just at least twice in a situation, in a discussion that's literally about me, bro. Okay. After that was Like, you were very interested in talking to Jessica over me, and you said that twice. I don't yes, forget these things. You just wait, but you just said, Kelly, you just said, why didn't you just come talk to them then? Those their opinions are not mine. And I said, why well, was there to talk to them? It depends on which it depends on which part of the conversation you're talking about, right? Like I certain agree. things should be me you were speaking to. If you really want to have like a like a hash out a sex fest argument, is then obviously you should do that with Discord comments were at Kelly and not at me, and that's my concern. Is he clearly wanting to attack Kelly in the in the sorry, I'm saying Discord, the chat comments rather, were at Kelly and not at me. And he's yes, really at the time that that happened, that's totally not what coming at me, but I don't know why he'd do that by going after Kelly. It just seems crazy. Because it, the, the yeah, the comments were yes, were about Kelly, but you were the one making accusations and claims based off those comments. So I'm going that's to talk I'm, to you so about I'm your accusations. You, so I'm asking you why you make comments about Kelly when it's my accusations and me you have the problem with. Kelly didn't say anything weird. <laughs> Kelly didn't do anything. That's true. Really you went weird off at me. She felt you were being creepy towards Why in those chat comments? Ugly in her I Instagram. I'm I get it. Chat comments. comments. Completely I'll give you the same explanation again. Creepy. If you don't remember, if you don't remember the explanation, I'll tell you again. Do you want me to say it again? Was I here? It, yeah, it was a joke. I was making a hyperbolic joke based off of what it was that she was saying on stream. You remember this this time. Do you want to write it down? I was making a hyperbolic joke based on what it was that she was saying on stream at the time, and that within the context, like it made perfect sense. You're just repeating the context. It made perfect sense. You are autistic. I mean, oh, okay. so Anna and her were friends. Not because she was making jokes with Anna. Do you mean that you have to be friends in order to make the jokes? Is that your? Is that what you're saying? It needs to be said. It needs to be said. Tom okay, is okay. autistic. We're, dead. we're not friends, so it's not a joke, right? Her and Anna were not friends. She was saying a bunch of stuff to Anna. She kept saying, well, they, "You're they trying to make a, a hypocrite argument when I'm literally no. in the room. These two things are not similar and not comparable, and you're just trying to like dismiss everything." Okay, we're going to be saying another argument, okay? And you're demanding that I talk. Yeah, because you're talking about me when I'm fucking here. Okay, I'm not. I'm. I don't get mad when I talk to you now, okay? I don't want everybody to get mad at me again when I start talking to you about the Tom. Everyone, we're going to pause here because I have a couple questions that may uh, direct this a little bit, maybe help me get a little bit more knowledge. So this notepad thing, I've heard about this notepad thing before that super chat. Um, mm -hmm. Jessica says, uh, his claim is that you've been acting creepy for a while now, and I think this might shed some light on maybe if there's any um, significance or if there's any credibility to that claim. Talk to us about the notepad. What is this notepad? Why do you have a list of names on a notepad? What does it say? Who's on the list? Go ahead, Tom. That the list was literally just a, a list of women that were in my community. Um, then, like, it was funny because of like how people would like uh, start like um, like guessing what it was that it was about. And then, like, it, you were the what? ones who took it, posted it on Twitter, like, and said, "What is this?" Yeah, and then it's, it's not. It's not funny then, like, because you know no, what it is. The obvious like, you know is, implication but, like, is that it's a fuck or rape list because the other meme was the Tom rape list meme. <clears throat> None of us knew what it was. It was just a fucking list of, of names that I randomly put Wait, on a fucking you, notepad. You, That's really you randomly put them there and you don't know what it is. That's your It wasn't any assertion. It literally was not anything. At the time, there was it no wasn't anything. Those names. Why the fuck are yeah, um, Seven, no, seven there's gonna come on in about ten you, minutes and uh we're gonna we're gonna hear her side of, of Wait, wait, wait. Do you also hey, have a Discord go. channel with a bunch of hot women in it called the list? Yes, we we did after. Oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, um, Drazi, uh interesting. You have to go, but uh can I give a quick closing thought before I dip out? Very quickly, then sure. Yeah, um so uh, I, I got a dip. Uh, Tom, if, if you ever want to talk about this good faith, feel free to uh, DM me. This has all been crazy. Uh, I just think it's really interesting that Kelly Jean keeps saying what she thinks and then taking it back right away. Uh, I gotta go. So maybe what did I take back, say, you stupid well, fuck? But I would say this, but nobody would care what I think about it. I would say this, but it doesn't really matter. So like, if you would actually that's say, not taking say, it back. That means be, I didn't make those arguments initially. But if you're going you're to ask me for my opinion now, now, if you ask for my opinion now, I can give it. But yeah, that doesn't mean that, that those are arguments that I made. I am curious what your opinions now are. I don't know how hard that is to like trap. Goodbye, goodbye. But Kelly, I am curious your opinions. One of the reasons I invited you on is to give us your opinions on this so i will i don't i don't care about all these other chatters i don't care about my chatters right i'm insulated because i'm sponsored by progressive victory i'm disclosing that yet again for like third fucking time this year but anyway um so i can tell them to fuck off and so i will hear you out and listen to you and i won't have to worry about my audience capturing me um so i am curious about what your thoughts are but i want uh, to give Brittany a chance to go before we hear from you so Brittany's been having her head up uh what are your thoughts here um also people in my chat are asking you to clarify your comments on kelly did you make comments about kelly yeah and i can go i don't need to i know this is like your guys's thing but i just want to say that i I think I feel like it's manufactured drama because the goalpost keeps getting moved. And I, so every time I feel like I can understand <laughs> someone's perspective, they like change Tell my perspective. Freak. I can understand this one. And then all of a sudden it's a new complaint. And so when I try to evaluate people's like why they're upset, there has to be like a real reason. And the real reason keeps getting moved. So I hear like, oh, it's not a big deal. We don't care. I never manufactured this. I never did this. And then why are we all sitting here? So something happened. Something must have been real at some point. So either it's not a big deal and then this should end. We should stop talking. Or it is a big deal and then somebody better have a real complaint. But it's not now. Both people are denying it was from them. So I'm a little confused. What? 
Yeah, you know, I don't know. Taking responsibility sure. for starting this whole mess, which never would have started without you two having a complaint. Because oh, Tom sure. reacted to I started, I probably, if it depends on how granular you want to go, but if you want to talk about what started like this whole leading up to this point, probably the first event was me calling Tom a sex pest in DGG chat before I even had a registered YouTube channel. Or was it three like months ago? Or was it longer than that? How long a time is time is out of my control? I don't know. Uh, so I would I say that I started probably this whole chain of events. Yeah, if that's I, what you're looking for culpability on that. Do you feel bad about that, it. or do you feel like you misunderstood Tom as a consciousness, or do you feel like you really see people here? Like, are we supposed to treat you like real people or performative people? Which would make sense for the orchestrated content, because like if it's for views, then that's fine. Mm -hmm. But are you saying that you see Tom as a real person and you think Tom's a bad person? Do I think Tom's? I think Tom made a mistake here, and I've asked him multiple times. I said, "Stop covering this entirely." If he just apologized to Kelly and admitted he had some weird sexual uh, hiccups. Hiccups? Well, that's see, that's implying he has a sexual problem, which he doesn't. Yes, that's See how you did that? Yeah, he's good at that. He's, he's very good at that. Yeah. Why are you still it. here, Mantis? Fuck off. You're asking me to apologize for something that I've already apologized for, and then you attack Wait, on something when, that when you, you guys say nobody's saying. I've said I, I apologize for, for making her feel that way. That was not my intention. I've said this on my stream numerous times. I said this today. I'm sorry. I realize he's hypothetically said it today. I didn't recall him actually saying it. I'm just asking when the first time was. I don't know. Why? I have no idea. Wait, wait. No way did Tom show porn on stream earlier. Did this really happen? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Guys, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm. I don't think I have ever seen something so catastrophically embarrassing happen in Twitch. But this is a new, we are at new levels, guys. We are at new levels, guys. If that is what I think it is, if that is what we're all thinking it is, we are at new levels, new levels of total Tom destruction. That's insane. If that is, if, if that's insane. That is so fucking, that's so insane. I'm not even overreacting. I'm not overreacting. It's, uh, there is no way I can overstate this to you. How insane that is, if that's what's happened. Guys, you just don't get it. You don't even realize, because I'm not even giving it full, I'm not giving it justice. I'm not doing it justice. Because I, from what I've said, from what I've said, if you don't know, you if you don't if you aren't making the connections if you aren't drawing this extra dot if you aren't drawing the line between the little dots if you aren't figuring it out if you aren't having a think having a little think right now then you might not realize how funny this could possibly be you know it's So unfathomably funny. How badly do you have to fuck up to do this? Guys, give me a minute. Just fuck me. Holy shit, this is just too funny. This is too funny. Surely not, dude. Surely not. <laughs> Someone do some analysis on this. It's surely not. No, no, no. It's not. It can't. Surely not. Surely not. Someone do some analysis, okay? Someone do some analysis. Stylo, I'm trusting you on this. Do you don't remember apologizing to Kelly over this? That was something you refused to do originally. Hold on, yep. like, hold on. Let me ask directly, since she's here. Kelly, do you, do you feel that Tom apologized to you? 
<laughs> uh, no, but also I, 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 don't, I wasn't demanding of an apology. It just is a yes, normal response to like, like where did I? Okay. Look, I listen. I, th I think people are jumping the gun. I personally, I think it's too good to be true. That's what I think. I think that'd be too funny. I think that would be just we're asking too much. We're asking too much. No, it is actually porn. It is a naked woman. I think we're asking too much. It's not ludes. It's not ludes. It is porn. He showed porn on his stream. I just, I just don't believe it, guys. Come on, you'll, you'll get. I think you're getting overexcited. I think you're getting overexcited. I think you're hoping for too much here. I think you really are. You choose to believe? Yeah. For an apology. I literally, yeah. when you came on, I literally, the first thing I said to you was that I was apologizing, and I, I like, this is what, this is my issue, is that, like, I, I feel like we're all just in different worlds, having completely different conversations. I'm not gaslighting, I just don't I'm... fucking remember that, because it was never okay. my, like, issue to start with. Okay, fair enough. But I, also, I, like, if you were going to apologize, it should have been before all the weird fucking messages you wrote, not, like, fucking afterwards. Yeah, weird. if you were going to make it about your feelings. Sorry, one minute. We've got to just... Are they on right now? Sorry. It should have been before and not afterwards as well. Listen, listen, I, I just want to point out that I couldn't have manufactured this for drama because when I started calling Thomas X Pest, I actually didn't have a YouTube channel or a kick channel or any like online presence. I might not have even had a Twitter. No, but you proliferated it. No, you you continue to proliferate it. Oh, I'm just saying wait, wait, that like this, this started okay. before I had this any monetary okay. incentive to do when it. When we talked, when so we talked, you could say I manufactured time? it for fun and that it was funny. Oh, how fun. But <laughs> okay, the first time you said it on Destiny's stream, you were streaming that day, uh months ago. That was yeah, like that was the first ago. time I ever. I so I no no no. That wasn't the first time I said it. I said it in chat way before that, which is how Kelly found the comment, right? She really opened too much. Yeah. You guys are really hoping too much. I think so. I think. Yeah, I've seen the pig situation. I'm just not pulling it up, guys. I'm not pulling it up. I'm not pulling it up. Okay, Plutarch's done the analysis. Plutarch is, is, has done the analysis. He's done the analysis. He's disproven the, the excessive claims being made in Spicy Chat. People got way too overexcited with that. It's still very funny. It's incredibly funny, but it's not. Just pretend it's for the memes. I won't be directing that. If you guys have that, listen, the jokes you guys make are up to you. I won't, I won't be engaged in that. If that's not true, I'm not going to say that. Because that's a bit... It's a bit weird, isn't it? But listen, it is obviously very funny. That would be an incredibly funny turn of events if after all of this defense of the sex fest stuff, that happened. That would be so insanely funny. That would be so insanely funny. Sadly, it's not the world we live in. <laughs> Just made the comment, but that was also the first stream I ever did. Was I fired up? I literally had just gotten OBS, and I streamed that stream to people because Destiny was shutting his stream down. So it's the first time I'd ever streamed. The first, that the first time I made the comment. I made the comment. Um, a sex pass. That's a... Well, I, no, I defended calling. Yeah, so nice. I actually called him a sex pass way before that, and then I very defended, nice. and I made it very clear, like, hey, you defended it, and twice, it was a joke. I actually made it clear, and like the label wasn't all that important to me. It was the it was the constellation of behaviors I was criticizing. So I said we could use a different label, but he was already. Yeah, JCLK is a rapist, guys. Okay, the label's not important. We're just talking about the fact. I just want to make sure that everyone knows, and I. These are private news. Anyone who shared the screenshot just engage in revenge park, by the way. Exactly. Yeah, that's my thing. Why well, I don't even want to pop the uh, the censored thing because it's like I don't know the source of that image. Tom has shown that on his stream. I don't know where he got. I don't know if that's downloaded from the internet or if he has received that from a, from a from a woman who's been speaking to. <clears throat> so I will not be pulling up even the pixelated version. I, I want to make sure that um. So I'll just ask Brittany directly. Brittany, do you think I manufacture content in this case? Do you think I manufacture no. content? No. Actually, I use Wick as an example of a very good faith person who I've had many disagreements with, and yet here we are having conversations, explaining to who, like, he's, you're very good about boundaries, you're very good about consent, you're very good about, I felt with, very good about you and Tom. Well, thank you. And with that said... This is, this is guys, message to streamers, okay? If you're streaming, this is an important message right now. Listen to me very carefully. Use window capture on OBS. Stop using desktop capture. Stop using desktop capture. Why are you using desktop capture? Capture individual windows and use a different browser 
for streaming than you use for personal stuff. Why are you pulling up your, your file explorer on stream? That's nuts. That's Can I just point With out? That, hold on. Oh, good. With that said, I have seen some of the behavior Tom has engaged in, and it's not behavior I would engage in. Let's say that. I don't know. If, I don't think I would call him a sex pest by any means, but it's weird. At the very least, it's weird. And I don't think that it's out of the realm of possibility for people to have problems with the way Tom has treated women in his server, has treated women in his community, and has treated women what? online. Oh, I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility. Well, you realize you're getting one more point. Wow, you, wait. You, don't have, you don't think there's an issue with women having a problem with it. You are now saying that like it makes sense that they're going to think that this is bad. Like, if you are people saying, have seen, like, again, yes. I see screenshots, I see topics. I, it's not in context, so I'm not making any judgments. I'm just being clear about this. I'm not making any judgments because I don't know, but I think it's okay to be like, raise an eyebrow at the least. I think this is the mildest form of criticism you can receive on this, Tom. The mildest. That's different than what you said, but uh, that's fine. Now, then I'm clarifying. Been... If that was different, yeah, I'm saying, that's listen to that's this, saying, that's... right? Is that okay? Can I? Can yeah, I've said that's fine. Yeah. yeah, okay, go ahead. Okay, sure. So uh, uh, two things. The first thing is that Basically, I also probably shouldn't. I'm just willing to do it so easily. I'm like, I'm too much of a fucking cuck on stuff like this. So I was going to take blame for manufacturing this, but actually this drama didn't really kick off until Con until Tom made the comments in my YouTube chat towards Kelly. That like, this was just kind of like simmering along. It was just a funny joke we had in the background. And then he made the comment. Well, that's this. You think you're safe until your phone's shared clipboard decides now is the time to sync a spicy URL onto your work computer or your screen sharing. <laughs> and then it became very real. So I did this. This is why you don't connect all your devices and do all the gay account integration shit. Tom's joke is now on top of your joke. So you guys are just bantering. Yeah, you said simmering, you were simmering all... beforehand, I mean... No, yeah. no, I don't yeah. think Tom took it as a joke, right? But Tom, Tom was joking. Wait, like, can you get rid of Mantis, right? So it's 2v2, because I can't deal with that rat's voice in my background. Yeah, man. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to... Hold on, it. stop. If, if you don't kick her, I'll leave. Uh, my, my stream browser retains um, tabs, but like, yeah, pretty much it, it wipes everything. Yeah. Okay, well, first of all... I'll go, I'll go, 2v2, you guys, I'll go, so you guys... No, 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 other, other, other than F. So other than F. I can, yeah, I can, you haven't been proven correct. He has sex-best adjacent behaviors at, at, at least, right? Sex-best adjacent behaviors. Sex -best adjacent it's all waffly, dude. So me calling him a sex-best best actually bothers him. I don't rape people, so I'm fine. No, it's because I am... Okay, that isn't fair, Jason. I get called a lot of things and it still bothers me, even though those things aren't, like, true about me. I'm just saying why his comments don't bother me and why I'm not concerned about them. But I agree that somebody could be concerned. Okay, Seven will be here in a minute. Um, so uh, she has some information that she wants to share on the whole situation. We're gonna listen. All to right. This. So like I asked. No, I think Mantis. I don't think Mantis is happy with us recently. I don't think Mantis likes us anymore. Listen, Mantis is always always welcome back. Okay. <laughs> but uh, but Mantis has been very very hostile lately. Very hostile. People about this apology, and apparently at some point there was like, a, I'm sorry, you feel that way, apology. I can't get clarification. There's other Streaming people saying that it was me after you It's so over. It's also so a bad. hypothetical. Like, I probably would say, I'm sorry, you feel that way. No, to be clear, no, to be clear, when uh, I did hear this, when uh, Kelly came on stream, Tom did say sorry. I also want to specify, I do not care too much about apologies, so it's like one way or the other, it's fine. And that's not really important. Fair enough. Okay. Well, I guess maybe uh, <laughs> at this point, like, we're kind of setting our ways here, it sounds like. It sounds like a... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, any other thoughts there? Um, I mean, how much have you guys actually spoken about why this behavior is maybe just like not great overall? It's not about whether we haven't gotten <laughs> to that part yet because we're okay. trying to figure out what happened. So, can you tell us why this behavior isn't in a? Because I personally, I would never do. I would never make those comments. Like, I might pull up someone's Instagram. That's fine, but I don't think I'd ever. Uh, I'd, I'd never say, hey, she just wants my dick, right? When she tells me to stop, I'd never do that. Yeah, um, I think, so the issue was, like, his chat was making weird comments before he brought up my Instagram, and this is also, like, he's done this before. I brought up my Instagram, so... What's Tom doing? What is this guy doing? He's full lol cow, dude. This is full lol cow. No, I don't know whose they are. If people have those screenshots, they should not be spreading them around. I don't know whose they are. Where did you source them from, Tom? Where did you source them from? Where did they come from, Tom? I'm not sure they need to do it again. It's kind of strange. But his chat were saying things like, I want to put a baby in here and other weird shit like this. And then he brought it up. And like uh, having and cultivating a community of gooners or coom time and stuff is just kind of weird. Um, I think that there are places and times where if someone either does sex work or sexy work or whatever, objectifying them in those circumstances is fine. Um, if you go on Wait, 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 wait. This doesn't make any sense. This is like an awful lie. This is an awful lie. No, I don't know whose they are. If people have those screenshots, they shouldn't be spreading them around. This took me a minute. This took me a moment. Well, you don't know whose they are, so assumedly you found them online, right? So you just downloaded them online. 
So surely they were from a place where porn is posted consensually, no? If people have screenshots, they should not be spreading them around. Well, sure, if it's from online, then there's no problem with people spreading them around. It's already public stuff. But no, this, this implies that it wasn't. Dude, what's he on about? Now nah, I'm getting off lol. They're tits, but that were just sent to me in a file a while ago from a troll. I thought I deleted it, but it was still around on media player, I guess. I don't know whose they are or anything, but I deleted all the VODs to avoid TOS. Bro, what is he on about? Bro, what is blood yapping about? Dude, no, he's actually gone. This is all in one day. We have gone full lol cow. This is just absolutely, this is like beyond. This is crazier than anything I've ever seen in fucking Twitch poll. This is just nuts. What's going on? Tom! Dude, yeah, it's like, mom, I got a virus shit. Come on now. Be serious. Why would you not just say you why would you not just say it's porn you downloaded online? Why would you not just say you downloaded porn? And you know what I would say? If I if I got if I fucked up this bad, let's imagine. Let's a hypothetical world. Let's come back on camera. Okay, in a hypothetical world where I am as retarded as Tom, okay, where I'm so inept that I fuck up this bad. Why would you not just say something like this? Is what my excuse would be. So, guys, if I ever say this, no, I am just totally fucking. Actually, it might not even be lying because this is a plausible story that may may well happen. I was on 4chan GIF, and I saved the video because it was good, and I didn't want to lose it from that thread. Is that? It's that easy. It's that easy. It's literally that simple. Now, this shit was so good, I had to beat a second time. Exactly. See, look. It just makes sense. It's immediately... Everyone would move on past it. If that's what, if he said something like that, it would be like, makes sense. We might joke about it, we might troll. There might be a few people saying that the crazy conspiracy theory that I don't believe to be true, someone's done analysis, Plutarch has done analysis for us. I don't believe it to be true. People may joke about that. But you would mostly get away with it. This is insane. This is insane shit to be saying. No one believes this. No one, thank you also for the 499, Abby. I did just briefly skip past that by mistake. I just, listen. I can't believe it. It's truly amazing. Why would you not just say you downloaded porn because that video is really good? Why would you not just say that? This makes it seem like such an insane lie that there's obviously something you're trying to hide. It's obviously someone you know. Abby Blackbird super chatted four dollars and ninety nine cents. Great this panel. Jesus Christ, dude. Fans, obviously, I'll be more willing to engage with you about certain topics on OnlyFans than I would be anywhere else. But I, I think that it should be kind of obvious that there should be, um, you, should, <laughs> you shouldn't treat somebody <laughs> like they're objectified 24-7. As he said, I'm an e-thought that exists only to be objectified, and that's not true. I'm a multifaceted human being, obviously. I don't exist just to be objectified so all the time. Ask, I'll just... argue that. When Hold on. You can argue in a minute, Tom, but I'm just trying to hear from Kelly real quick. Um, so, but, Kelly, if I may, uh, sure. I understand that we should objectify people all the time, but... I mean, an, a one-off comment or something like, uh, oh, she looks cute or she's hot. Um, oh, she's super sexy. I don't necessarily think that that's wrong. Now, once you told him to stop and that makes you uncomfortable, then we have another conversation. But I think initially, them just saying, oh, yeah, you're pretty you're pretty hot. I, I don't. Yeah, so uh, whether or not something's innocuous, I'm talking more of like, a, even if I'm to remove Tom out of this situation, why I think that this is sort of a negative in general, right? Because you're teaching your audience that when you're watching a politics video that has absolutely nothing to do with gooning, you should still be gooning and cooming at the side of this, and you should be... And whether he meant to or not, I, I can give him the benefit of the doubt and say that maybe he didn't mean to. What it tends to do is is, is uh, either directly or indirectly um, put down because people do not necessarily respect the opinions of sex workers, right? It's, it's, it just ends up um, 
diminishing their arguments, diminishing their character, sort of sort of um, making them seem like they should be discredited easier. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of annoying things that go along with that. So unless... Someone send me the Lou Ratchet video right now. Stylo, send me the Lou Ratchet video right now. Put it on stream below so I can put it up on stream easily. There's a reason for it. I don't see the positives of bringing that kind of stuff up, and there are a lot of negatives for the women involved. I do wanna, I do wanna talk about. Hello, stream. Uh, I have heard. Where is it? That's from JSLK from others that um, there's a, that this is like a pattern or something. So I wanted to um, have maybe someone to talk about it. Anyway, what's up? Yeah, yeah, seven. Uh, hi, first of all, welcome. Hey, friends. What's up? Um, um yeah, go ahead. Did you have anything to? Oh, I didn't have, like, information I wanted to share. Sure. Or anything. Well, uh, I know you had a, a, a I, I guess. A, 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 um, can you tell us a little bit about the that? Incident. Yeah, an incident, if you will. Can you kind of tell us about that? Explain it. Um, talk to it. Um, it was just I, uh, I called into your stream. I'm doing it. It's okay. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And Tom watched some of it on stream and then did the thing where he scroll through my pictures instead. Um, and we're like fine about it. We um, talked earlier and we've joked about it over this time. I think. What I would say is like the appearance of it being manufactured or whatever, um, like us joking about it and being chill is under the assumption that if something. Hey, you know they got your mans. They got your mans on sex assault charges. Yeah, the nigga you be hanging with. <laughs> the nigga you be hanging with. <laughs> oh, it's sex offender. And he was your mans. He was your boy. That's <laughs> how you grew up with him. That's crazy, man. You ain't know what he was doing? You ain't feel bad at all? Like, no guilt, none of, none of that shit. Hey, you know that guy. It did make me uncomfortable. There's mutual respect where I could expect. your that. man's. He was your um, man's. So you know you could have done nothing? Kelly is probably making people like me feel less secure about that. I feel and shame. Like, hey, we've been giving too much, um, too much charity to the situation. Um, oh, like, you grew up with it. that earlier a bit. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's probably why it looks a little bit like people are switching up, but I think it's fair to reevaluate. Oh, yeah, do you think I, that's unfair, the, so, Tom? I mean, that seems like a good point. I, right? So I think her comments are fair. Again, what happened on that stream has been twisted and re, uh, reassessed to be something that it was not. We were on there arguing over whether or not it was wrong for me to pull it up in the first place and whether or not I should have known better. And if you go listen to the arguments, that is what we are arguing about. If you go listen to Mantis, who was on there before me, that is what she's arguing about. At the end of that conversation is when Kelly says, well, I'm just talking about my feelings. And that's when I left. At that point, yes, I am heated that they are gaslighting me on the fact that they're saying, oh, my Instagram is very public. My pictures are very public. Yes, they are there for this reason. And then when you engage with them, you you're supposed to know that you shouldn't ever do that and that that's wrong. And I'm saying, I don't I don't agree with this. And they're gaslighting me in this conversation. So yes, I'm getting heated. I'm yelling. They're talking over me, interrupting me, switching from one person to another. And I'm yelling to make sure that I'm heard. But this is taken as like, I'm screaming and yelling at somebody who's claiming to be my victim and I'm berating them for trying to never to once to call myself a like victim. I, I don't I know, not you. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I'm saying that this is how it has been reframed. This is who I've been arguing against on my streams. The people who come on and say, hey, this girl's claiming to be a victim. And you this, this, this weekend has been the weekend of absolute Tom 10. Okay. Four day Tom 10 weekend. Four day Tom 10 omnibus binge. All have we had over the last few days. What have we had? Sex pest allegations. There was something else going on as well. He's banned. He got banned. Dude, he's just been absolutely losing it this weekend. You go on and scream and yell at her. And I'm saying, this just isn't what happened. They say, well, she was just expressing her feelings. And I say, that's not what we were arguing about. I never argued her out of her feelings. I never tried to uh, say your feelings are bad or you shouldn't have those feelings. That just isn't what happened. And it's been twisted afterwards to make it sound I'm like says, this, you is a, uh, this is a, a thing that you shouldn't do. The chat comments, comments happened crazy. while she was arguing these things. No, the chat comments okay. happened before she was arguing with yeah. you, before you came on the stream. No, we had while all she was arguing with Mantis. While she was arguing with Mantis. While she was arguing with Mantis. You're going to keep repeating this. Yes, exactly. Let's get seven on the floor. Hey, no, what? I oh, don't. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. <laughs> Guys, I would recommend not posting it in Spicy, personally. I would recommend not posting it there. That's what I would say right now. Okay, I don't think we've got good enough Jannies to make the call at the moment. Uh, yes, yes, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen. I would recommend deleting it, guys. Listen, I'm saying, as the babysitter or child is offline, I'm saying if you have been posting this, delete it, because we know that it is a private, it seems to be almost certainly, almost certainly it's a privately shared photo. And you should not be spreading that around. Let's be real. You should not be spreading that around. It's Tom's fault that it was exposed to the public. It's his own incompetence that it's been exposed to the public. People have shown that it exists, that he did that. I would recommend everyone just delete it.
but that is i'm i'm just guys so tom is do we get to call tom a revenge pornographer not re it's not intentional so it doesn't really count i don't think does it <laughs> things are things are different now. Okay, guys, that's it's all been changed. Dude, I just I can't even get over it. But I'm I'm in absolute awe. I'm in awe that this has happened. I genuinely can't. This has got to be some of the funniest shit. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. It's actually no. Okay, serious moment. Serious moment. It's fucked up that this has happened. This is not something that should happen to someone. That is actually fucked up. Okay, I will say that I'm putting this out. I'm saying this. I'm making a serious statement that is fucked up for that to happen to someone but it is horrifically funny that tom did it it is it is fucked up it is seriously fucked up and you should seriously not spread it 100 percent. i just <laughs> yeah guys like stylo saying it in spicy even stylo even stylo is saying look it's got to be there's got to be some level of uh there does have to be some level of um it sounds gay but you know empathy and respect should we say it, it is gay but that is <laughs> that is unironically fucked up <laughs> no no stylo i am listen stop being stylo this is the gig you're doing the giga chat thing you're doing the anti-social giga chat thing that's what you're doing right now there is a baseline level of empathy and respect that you should extend even to people you really fucking hate online where i'm not gonna you know even if it even if there was no concern for self-preservation you should not be willing to spread that around me personally that's what i'm saying that's my position please please i just want to make sure that this is frames because he's doing this again it's i, I guess i am I'm making this and literally the, the concerning thing here is the chat comments you just keep yapping okay, i'm gonna make this comment and then i want to okay hold on hold on hold on tom's going to he's twisting it again tom's going to very concisely finish his point then once he concisely right. finishes his point we're gonna have seven respond to it go ahead yes. can i just say something quickly for everyone so mm -hmm. just to say i think the confusion here is largely because there was four other people in the room you were arguing with this mm -hmm. is not like an intentional gaslighting this is just genuine sure. confusion yeah. anyway you can continue hello sleepy Okay, so Seven was saying that like part of her issue is that it starts to seem like if a girl oh, had an issue with it, something. that I might not take it seriously. And so I was saying that like I, I agree that that's how it's coming off. Come on now, Sleepy. Come on, come on now. Hey, friends of Tom Fuller EP. Just wanted to say, hey, hey, you know they got your man's. They got your man's on sex assault charges. Yeah, the nigga you be hanging with. <laughs> the nigga you be hanging with. <laughs> Oh, yeah, sex offender. And he was your man's. He was your boy. <laughs> you grew up with him. That's crazy, man. You ain't know what he was doing? You ain't feel bad at all? Like, no guilt? Oh, guys, people are talking about it in chat. Oh, no. Shut it down. Shut it down. Oy vey, oy vey. I'm kvetching. I'm kvetching. But I think it's because of how it's been twisted afterwards, because in the moment, I was not arguing with her over whether or not she can take this seriously. The argument was over whether or not this was inappropriate for me to do in the first place and whether or not I did something wrong and whether or not I should have known better. And when I made those comments, it was while they were arguing with Mantis saying that I should have known better and that I did something wrong by pulling it up in the first place. So that's it. That's, that's they shut it down, I, guys. I, I, I shut it down. Says this the the comments targeted Kelly when she was just saying she Hold felt on, uncomfortable. Jessica, well, I, I was very curious. It's so funny. I can't laugh. I'm in like a comedy zen mode. I'm just in shock. That was me a minute ago. Honestly, dude, I just, I just, it's, I can't deal with it, man. I can't, that's just so insane. It's just so insane. It's just so nuts. <laughs> it's just such a fucking insane thing to happen. How do you fuck up this bad?